Oh, hey. Yo. What's up? Yeah, you ready to play play some Equestria Bound for the second time? Wow. Part two. That's right. The epic Let's Play. And actually, we should it, sh it should be a little bit fancier this time. If you look at the uh, the screen, so last time, you know, since I am, I I do have my original SNES in the back room, and I even have a an, I have an Earthbound cart of it. I have a, a Mother One and Two cart for a Game Boy Advance, but I have. I have all the original stuff, but I did not actually flash this onto a cart and play on the uh, the original hardware being streamed over here. No, I'm using an emulator. And so last time, I didn't realize, I think I actually had like one of those fuzzy filters on. So it like, so, like softened it, you know? So like this should look a lot better. I, th I think it looks a lot better at least. I turned all that stuff off, so it's just between the actual like, is what it actually looks like, you know? Uh, so that's kind of cool. No more fuzzy pickles. Fuzzy pickle. <laughs> um, yeah. So let's see. We, we we just we beat Rarity and then like Rarity's changeling and then just immediately left, right? Yeah. So we have some yeah. croissants. We've got the stuff equipped and whatnot. And we're all good. Yeah. We we we're still in Lyra's village. Yeah. We're still in Lyra's village. Okay. So uh, yeah. What we're gonna do? Yeah, the human human village. No problem. No problem here with human human. Um, yeah, so we beat, we beat Rarity's Changing and got the stuff. I don't think there's anything else we need to do here in town. Right? Because we've... Yeah, so... We just go back to, um... Ponyville South. We have to get... Well, yeah, we didn't we didn't tell anybody that we rescued Swivel yet. Uh, because we rescued her, but everybody back in Ponyville still thinks that she's kidnapped, I'm sure. We'd probably go talk to Rarity. The real Rarity, not the Changeling Rarity that we fought in the game. The real Rarity. We'll go to the real Rarity. You tell me that the real rarity isn't a two-faced betraying the mayor. <laughs> you know, the real rarity. She's she's very kind and generous and all that stuff, right? Yeah. Of course. He would... <laughs> He's so generous. She mm -hmm. was. Uh, she got burned on the art of a dress, and after that, forced her friends into a sweatshop and. <laughs> I'm gonna make this dress for Twilight. But uh, first I'm gonna go party hard for like three days straight. Oh no, everyone's sneezing. Yeah, you get the get the sniffles. You gotta sniff a bunch. <laughs> Is that a real female girl I smell? Oh Is that re real real mare snot dripping down from your noses or Mirror drip. Yummy. They got the drip. Damn, Swivel strong? Yeah, Swivel's not bad. I mean, so, you know, Swivel, of course, had a trading card. What the heck is a trading card? Good, trading card. Uh, he sold throw. for a very oh, high price. Whoa. Nothing happens if you use it. A good explanation is kind of tough. That's a good, ex that's actually a good explanation of a trading card in real life. Yeah, yeah. Sweet, Sweetie Belle, I mean, she has her, her magic abilities are actually really strong. She has why she can, like, use that Blizzard ability to annihilate everybody. Except for Changeling Rarity last time, who's so cold-hearted it doesn't hurt her. Um, let's see, her offense is 30. So, yeah, she's a lot weaker than Dinky, but she can still hit stuff. Like, these are low enemies anyways. We're just not our check back. Ooh, Butterfly. Edux. Oh, Edux. <laughs> yeah, I've been playing... The original Mother 2 this week just for fun, and yeah, every time I see one, ah, Nidax. Magic butterfly, like, Okage de Nest Hachiwa Nidax. Nidax. Yeah, see, she just used uh, Magic Winter and blows this guy up. See, she's very strong. And Big muscles. So she's for 39. So she's for 39, and what, what did Dinky hit for? Like 70 or 80? So not nearly as strong as Dinky, but her magic is very powerful. And there's an item, let's see, there's an item we forgot to pick up when I was here. Because I've been playing Mother 2 this week, just on my own time for fun, uh, I found there was an item I forgot, I did not pick up when it was here. Uh, the first time we played through last week. There's like a, a head armor, I think, or... It was, a, it was a, a hat or a helmet in that game, so it's some kind of head armor. Is it up here, I think? Maybe. Put Swivel in the football helmet. Need a 
Redux. Why would Fluttershy want to be a tree? Oh, is it? Yeah, this is Fluttershy we're fighting here with the, the evil tree. This thing looks crazy. Oh, jeez. Okay. okay, maybe that's why it's powerful as hell. Oh, man! Yeah, so those guys, when, when you die them, they just, like, explode themselves. And uh, if they're not the last enemy in the fight, you'll probably die. Luckily, even though they would have killed us, we have the rolling health bars, and we just kill them fast enough. As long as, the, like, the moment the fight ends, yeah, here's the item I was talking about. Open present. Hard hat. Ah, see? Can we get, can, can we give the hard hat to, to Sweetie Belle? Is that what you want to do? Nah, that's okay. Whoever can equip it. So let's see, so she has a, a Holmes hat right now. The hard hat would give her five extra defense. Let's see if we can give that. I mean, honestly, Dinky doesn't need as much defense. Give it to Sweetie Belle. She can. Okay, so yeah, Sweetie Belle's gonna wear the hard hat. Sweetie Belle needs a helmet. Alright. That's all I want to do. Now we can go back to, to Ponyville South. Much more violent, Ponyville North. And the, it should be easy to get back because, yeah, this bridge is fixed. Alright. Ooh, get up. Let's see, do I need to... Oh yeah, I'll heal and then do that. Oh shit, not healing, I want to do life up. Oh, e ducks. I was going to make a bridge pun, but I couldn't think of anything. Anyway, I fixed the bridge. Cross it all you want. Thank you, Jenny Pony. She literally fixed it for free. I always thought that person in the corner was like infected with the mushrooms, and that's why they were trapped in the corner. No, she's just picking it's mushrooms. Dum dee dum dee dum. I'm hunting for mushrooms. I'm gonna collect a ton. Japanese people are getting rowdy. It's like a real Japanese household. Why are they rowdy? What makes them rowdy? What are they doing? They're trying to figure out how to use the coffee machine. <laughs> Rotten evil mushroom. Yeah, that, that's uh, like the mushroom. I mean, this one they're trotting, of course. Uh, would they... They were called, I think called strutting or something like that in the English, the original localization. Yeah, but or like walking or something. As, yeah, well, so th as with a lot of Japanese RPGs, the um, the original script is actually not often that, it's, it's usually not as interesting as the way they word it in the English one. So I'm playing Mother 2, and I also looked up some information um, about like some localization about Mother 2 to, to Earthbound. And uh, so things like that, with a, lo a lot of these enemies, they have very plain names in Japanese. Like, it's, just, it's literally just like the walking mushroom, the walking sprout, the walking this creature, you know. And it just, like, says what the creature is. Uh, whereas they give them much more sort of colorful, poetic names in the localization. They call like, they don't just say, like, the, the, the walking or strutting mushroom. I think they call it, like, you know, the strutting evil mushroom. And, um, like, when you talk to, like, some of these... Um, they're, they're ponies in this version, of course, but the, like, the humanoid enemies that are in town... Um, in the Japanese version, they're just like the annoying man, you know. Uh, whereas I don't remember like what he's called, guy this. Or but something. yeah, yeah, like, like like the new age retro hippie is what they use for the localization. Whereas in the um, in the Japanese, they just called him I don't remember what for that one in particular, but it's just some really plain thing like you know annoying Onichan or something like that. And then in this one, it's like oh, he's the new age retro hippie, and they gave him interesting names like that. Oh, I met Spike. Oh, you did it. You saved Sweetie Belle. So you're off to save Equestria. I know that you and Sweetie Belle can do it. Your friendship and courage will overcome any challenge. Sweetie Belle, if you're going on a trip with Dinky, you should bring this along. It's one of Rarity's emergency edible boots. 
This way you have something to eat if you get hungry out there. Yeah, see, she really cares for Sweetie Belle, even if she doesn't always show it. Okay, well, let's give the edible boots to to, to Swivel then. We can go sell that. For emergencies old though. Can I read the description on it? Edible boots. Rarity's famous emergency edible boots. They're made with edible gold dust. When eaten, you recover about all your hit points. Yeah. Big money. You know what that means, of course. It means we are never going to use it, ever, because we're afraid it's a, it's a rare one-of-a-kind <laughs> item. We're going to save it eternally and never use it. <laughs> oh, it's Rarity. Swibble, I've been looking all over for you. Thank you, thank you so much for finding my little sister. I suppose you want to go crusading now. That's cute. Well, I'd prefer if you could rest after a horrible ideal. I suppose you do need to enjoy yourself. Take care of her, Dinky. Goodbye, Sweetie Belle. Stay safe out there. I worry about you. Now, interesting thing, the way she just walked right there, uh, she walked like right up next to the edge. Um, if I could talk to her again, so, <laughs> so the scripting in this uh, this hack, you know, it's, it's not absolutely perfect. She'll, she'll just do this on an infinite loop. So she just says again, goodbye, sweetie Belle. Stay safe out there. I worry about you. And then she uh, does her little march again. Walk again. And she walked herself out of bounds. Finally, <laughs> you removed rarity from play. Goodbye, Rarity. Goodbye, Spike. Oh, some man. Hello, Dinky. Do you know who this is? Foe or Foey? Some OC? I have, I have no idea. I kind of... Could you look that up and figure out? Yeah, yeah. I want to know who this is. Is this, is this some character from some fanfic that I don't know about? I mean, is this or the person this... that you fight? Like... Yeah, he, so normally it's, it's the... Like, it might the... be a pun, like... Um, like like a foe approaches, you know. True, she's your foe, maybe, maybe. Well, anyway, she has a present. Well, I'm wondering if it's like the creator's OC or if it's some, you know, it's some um, well-known quote, well-known OC from a fanfic. It's like Nyx or something like that. Oh man, I'm gonna have to go through. Uh... Some mad, some mad forum posts to figure this out. I thought, I thought you'd find it if you search. For, if you search for like Equestria Bound Foe or something like that, or reference like you know, it doesn't. Nobody ever talked about it or answers it anywhere. No, the uh, only thing that really comes up is the Equestria Bound uh, forum post on the PK hack on Starman. No, and it just says, yo, the character exists and is named Foe. Huh. Uh, I have to look through for it, but... Oh, well, that that's fine. I just wondered. But anyway, so Foe says, whatever the statue was doing to Lyra is fixed. Lyra is back to her normal best pony self. Oh, no, the creator says that Lyra is the best pony. I promise to give you something that'll help you. Here it is, 10,000 bits. Don't ask where I got it, just take it. <laughs> I'm gonna get that creepy statue away from Lyra. You just focus on saving the world. Yeah, we got 10,000 bits. Check it out. Oh, you know what is kind of cool? Um, hmm? They are selling an Equestria bound cartridge on Etsy for $35. Oh, really? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's kind of cool. You, let's see, bag of bits. You may have seen this much money before, but that's unlikely. There must be 10,000 bits in here. All right, now what we're gonna do with this money is we're gonna go talk to Miss Vinyl Scratch. Actually, we're gonna talk to Vinyl Scratch because we have Swivel with us now, and she'll say, wow, Swivel's amazing. Wow, you found Sweetie Belle, pretty impressive. I think you deserve a reward. Uh, she gave us a backstage bass. That'll get you two in the show and even let you backstage. You earned it, kiddo. Hey, you're with that filly you're trying to rescue. Why don't you talk to Miss Scratch? She'd probably like to hear about it. She's cool like that. All right, we can go see the show now. Oh, but first. It's photo time. Oh, that man with the sunglasses that just got covered up by the text box. So cute. Which one? The right next to vinyl. Vinyl is like little assistant. She doesn't have sunglasses. Yeah. Oh, they're not? They, they yeah. kind of look like it. No, that's her mane. Wait, is her mane orange or is it black? 
It remains that that no, so that and we, maybe she has sunglasses up on the top. I guess maybe she has them up. They're yeah, not on her eyes though. Right, she has, she has, yeah, she has a know. red cap. You can talk to her from the side. Yeah. Yeah. See, she has a red cap. It's, it's the bill of her cap. I think is that what that is. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Weird, weird cap. Oh, she's a unicorn now. Okay, now I get it. <laughs> yeah, she's she's a unicorn and she has a cap on. All right. Um. Final scratch at the Chaos Theater. Let's go check her out. Ah, uh, the manager. Curtain call. Right through this door, please. So, final scratch owes me a lot of money. She'll stay here until she pays what she owes in the contract. Who knows how long she'll be here? She's not exactly good with, with money or reading contracts, for that matter. Uh, and if we try to pay it, it shouldn't work, right? It's hard. You want to talk about money? And how about later, after the show? Even if we're talking big butts, I've got definite rules about how I handle my money. So, you have to see the show before you can use the money. Let's use the backstage pass. Oh, pardon me. Just let you right through. There's no good looking waitresses. There's no room to show off my latest dance moves. This place sucks. It's like the, the, the pony uh, standing in the corner meme while everybody else at the party. <laughs> this place sucks. There's no cute waitresses. There's no place for me to show off my dance moves. Nobody knows that I have really cool dance moves. And they're all just sitting there like, yes, we know. <laughs> well, well, I got a little filly talking to me like she's an adult. I'll give you one thing. You got guts, kid. Like around 30, from what I remember. She can't be that good. I mean, she only filled this little music hall. Was this Rose Luck? I don't talk to Rose Luck. Yeah, there we go. Hey, 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 don't get too close to me. I just started. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay, Thanks, Rose, Rose Luck. Luck. Thanks. I'm glad I talked to Rose Luck. <laughs> All right, fine. Let's, do you like do you like hoofball? No. Hell yeah. I see. Oh, no. I don't think I feel like you could understand a sophisticated game like hoofball. Okay, I'll say yes. Do you like hoofball? Yes. You have the graceful movement of a hoofball player. I want a hoofball team so I can recognize these things. Game recognized game. Uh, DJ Pwn3 told me I can go backstage, but I don't have a pass. I'm sure security will stop me. Hey, really? You have a pass? I can't believe it. Can you take me with you, please? 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 I could pose as your sister. Alright, let's go. She takes us backstage. <laughs> Everyone's losing control of their bits. That's <laughs> See, Curtain Call put some completely unfair stuff in the contract. Now I'm stuck in this dinky town until I can scrounge up 10,000 bits. Hey, don't don't get mad at uh, Ponyville. Don't call Ponyville dinky. She can't even get a lawyer to help. None of them are willing to work with me anymore. That's too bad. I don't know. Huh? I think dinky's okay, because, like, you know, last I heard about dinky, it was great and powerful dinky, which is... That's true. Cool. Yeah, we're now great and powerful. Yeah. We can even more powerful than the great and powerful Trixie. See, I think you can show the money to her, but she doesn't care. She's like, don't try using your play money here. Oh, wow, that's, that's real money, isn't it? Where'd you get that? Any chance I could talk you into giving that to the manager? Yeah. Okay, so we do that. We get to watch, we get to watch Vinyl perform. Is she going to perform Discord? Play Discord! Let's see. Well, we are at the Chaos Theater. Right. There's nobody. The entire room cleared out when she decided to start playing. You'll note. There's not a single pony here. Damn. It, it really is like half the sets at a, at a true pony fair. <laughs> oh man. That's what the tables look I get little tables there with the empty chairs. <laughs> what slog is this? I don't think it's anyone. I think I looked up recently. I don't remember what it said for this one specifically, but I do recall that several of the um, things, especially related to vinyl, were custom written just for this game packs. So they aren't like, it's not like Discord going to be played or anything like that, even though I think it should be. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Yeah, well, maybe maybe we'll find a way to edit it in. I was think I was thinking about that. I was thinking about going and learning how to do the uh, the sound hacking in in um, Earthbound and do that because I do think that that's what she should play 
when we're going to the next town. I think that's good. All right. I okay, still have the money. You can say bag of bits. Excuse me? What have you got there? Let me take a look, real close look, like right in my face on this side of the desk. I don't know why they make you do that, but it's, yeah. Yipes! You surprised me. I'm not sure what to do. I got my money, so fair is fair. Vinyl is free to go. Oh, and then they have the original music. Imagine that. You two fillies got me out of a real bind. I'm going to be sure to take a long look at any contracts from now on. It may be boring as Tartarus, but I don't want to get stuck in a dump like this again. I owe you two, and I heard that you want to get to Philadelphia. It's on the way to my next gig, so why don't you ride with me? Ghosts are scared of loud music, and this bus runs on wubs. Yeah, so we didn't talk to anybody in town to actually reveal it, because I already knew what was going on. I just talked to any NPC. But one of the things that you find out is you can't go to the next town, which in this case is Philadelphia, because there's ghosts in the tunnel. But as we all know, yeah. ghosts hate positive vibes, and they especially hate dubstep, I guess, in this version. Oh, look, look at the bus. They edited it say DJ Pwn3 on, it, on the side of the bus. Yeah. That's cool. All right, let's get going. No ghosts will mess with us. Even other ponies won't stand near my bus. It's so loud. Yeah, see, here, here. Everybody knows the undead hate dubstep. Let's go. Get in my bus, kids. Right. See, this, this right here is where it should be Discord playing. We should just play Discord in order to scare the ghosts away. But it's not. It's a custom-made tune. Going super fast. Oh, there's a present on the ground I missed. I never walked down this far. <laughs> Alright, here come the ghosts. Oh, look at the ghost ponies. <laughs> and they just can't take it. They can't take the awful robot fart music that is dubstep. <laughs> Forks in a blunder. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> right, looks like we have to say goodbye for now. This town seems pretty gloomy. It's gloomy, Maine! Oh, but I'm Maine! Sure, but I'm sure you can light up the place with your own little brand of sunshine. We have to turn this place from Onyx to, uh, to actual Thursday. Uh, she's hanging. She's heading off to Manhattan. Ah, Philly, Philadelphia. There's graffiti. Let's just play it. Okay. It wasn't the trash can. Let's see here. Plain old trash. Ooh, drugstore. Oh, some new items we can buy here. Do I have any money? No, I don't. I need to get money out of the bank. You gotta ring your dad. <laughs> nah, he already, yeah, here he is. Oh. Nah, I'm, I'm not calling him on a payphone. You kidding me? I'm not paying a single dollar to the green payphone. I need every single bit I can. Yeah, I'm not paying a single bit. I need every bit I can, can hold. Uh, oh, look, there's, there's another hard hat. So we, we gave a hard hat to Swivel. We can buy a hard hat first for uh, Dinky as well. Get the hard hat. Uh, I will sell the Holmes hat. And actually, we also all right, we need to sell the homes hat that that shit uh, Sweetville used to have. You know what? I'm not gonna sell. I think that I I think that Apple Bloom Apple Sneed joins us soon, and I think we might need to buy another one for her anyways. Uh, so let's see. There's a Mister Microphone that we can buy for Sweetville though. Upgraded toy microphone. A two-day on uh, two-day two-day envelopes are three hundred ninety-nine bits. Oh, you can sell the uh, you can sell the trading yeah, card, right? Uh, yeah, that that was the other thing I needed to sell was the trading card. She'll buy oh, the trading dude. card for a thousand bits. Yeah, I'll sell you the thousand-bit trading card. Why did I even go? To, why did I even go to the ATM? All right, give it to big Dinky. money. I think he's off in 64. Yes, I will sell the first class mail back. 
Let's see. Okay, we're all fully we're fully equipped now. Now we don't need anything else. Okay. Philadelphia. There's monsters and zombies, baby. And it's full of creepy zombie ponies. There's a hidden road in the graveyard, though. Mm -hmm. This pony says, I heard, overheard the zombies whispering about Master Gilda. Isn't Gilda a griffin name? Why would a griffin fill our town with zombies? How would a griffin fill our town with zombies? Anyways, I hear she's impossible to beat. So, Gilda is uh, the replacement for the boss of the zombies. Hi, hello. Yeah, this town's all filled with zombies. So in uh, in the original Mother 2, uh, this game is called Threek or Sreek. Whereas in uh, Earthbound, when they localized it, they changed it to Threed. They put a D instead of a K for some reason. I'm not sure why. I do think, I, I don't know if there's a different reason for it, but I think that the reason it was called Sreek in Japanese is because it's like a pun with the English word shriek. Like it sounds like you're screaming and shrieking and there's like, Zombies and Halloween and horror and everything. I don't know. I don't know why they changed it. No, to that me. doesn't make sense. Yeah, it sounds more like a freak out kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, like, well, because it's Sudik, and so it's, you know, they, they use Sue instead of for the TH sound. How can we defeat the zombie ponies? Why don't we get all the zombies in this tent and set it on fire? Okay. So we know that Gilda is in charge of the, the zombie ponies. Apparently there's zombie ponies on the loose here in Philadelphia. Uh, and what you do... Is, wasn't there an item? Oh no, there is a there's a, a photograph location though. Go up here, we should have photo finish show up. Yeah. Hey kids, I see that you're in a cemetery. Perfect time for a photo, don't you yeah, think? Yeah, it's let perfect. Me, let me get a picture. The perfect location. And there she goes, the magical child obsessed photographer. That's yeah, true. We got, um, uh, Daring Do invited us into her basement, and then. Um, photo finish is just in this game she's going around taking pictures I guess the, the photo man is always taking pictures of kids in Earthbound though right so I guess that's it's wild <laughs> <laughs> when you think about it I guess it always was that way but Let's see does, does ice work on this guy yeah it works, it works okay does do mares work on these guys yeah it works just mares right. works on everyone yeah I think I think there are there might be like yeah, I think you're right. I think it might work on. I don't think there's anything like resists it. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it just you know misses or doesn't work. But I know a lot of these enemies. Like some of them are resistant to ice. Some of them are resistant to fire. Some of them are explicitly weak to one of the other elements. Things that the brown guys are resistant to ice, but the smelly ones aren't. Let's see. There's a verminicide spray inside. We'll give that to uh, Swivel. What else? Did I get something else? Oh, boiled egg. Look at the secret path, and these are some very creepy zombies. Zombie ponies. Stares into your soul. He looks you over. So these ones, like, are those zombies? Or those, those are like story of the blanks type shadow zombie ponies. They look really cool. So now that we talk to them, what's this guy have to say? Oh, dude, check out that mare in front of the hotel. She's really strange, constantly going off to secret meetings, but I wouldn't mind spending some time with her, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, you're fools. I guess you don't know what I mean. Oh, and then the school has an idea. Secretive behavior? Maybe we can get our private investigator cutie marks. 
private investigator Cutie Mark Crusaders chasing after the, the, the sexy mare in the fishnets in the middle of the night. Go! <laughs> this is how in the act. <laughs> yeah. The, <laughs> oh no, it's got all weird spooky hotel music. I'm glad I talked to that guy. I didn't trigger that little uh, Cutie Mark Crusader event when I was playing through this at Winnie City a couple weeks ago. Oh, you're losing consciousness. What could be the fate of Dinky and her friend? Oh, they just threw him in a hole. No problem. <laughs> the door's locked. Well, interesting. Everything except for Swipple faded out. And in Mother 2, the original, um, both get, everything except for your main characters, like even Ness would still be there. It wouldn't just make Paula. Apple Sneed. Apple Sneed, it's Sweetie Belle. Hope you can hear me. We need your help. Please, Apple Sneed. Meanwhile, at formerly Chucks. <laughs> Oh yes, it's the border, boarding school for young engineers that we read about in the user manual. Up in Kirinida. <laughs> this is Sweetie Belle and I'm with Dinky. Please hear me. Can you hear me? Wake up and head south. Please heal me. Head to Philadelphia. Please, Apple Sneed. Is that twist? Yeah, dude, she's your root. So, yeah, so we're up here in the boarding school, right? Not only is it twist, but they actually do that with her with her dialogue. Apple Sneed, where are you going off to in the middle of the night? So twist runs up. You know the dorm rule, right? You get caught, you'll get punished big time. What's wrong, Apple Sneed? All right, there must be some reason. I don't understand. I won't stop you, but it's dangerous to leave without taking anything along. Hey, I think there is some stuff in the locker room that you could get. I'll help you get out of here. Twist. Like Twist. Her... Twist. Twist joined you. Twist. Uh, I like how they gave her a cutie mark, though. You can kind of. Yeah, tell. she she has the little the little candy cane cutie mark, and Apple's need doesn't. I, more so than me liking that Twist is a cutie mark, I like that Apple Bloom and Swibble and Scootaloo don't have cutie marks. That's what I like about this. There's a sea serpent living in the lake. Rumor is that he's rather vain and proud of his hair. I'm sleepy. I'm go to bed. One of the rumors is true. At the center of Stonehenge has an entrance leading someplace. I had a more interesting sea sto sto story than the sea serpent in the lake. I heard there are cave ponies near Stonehenge. Yeah, the sea serpent, you know. In the original game, it was just it was a sea serpent. It's like, eh, you know. In this one, it's replaced with Stephen Magnet. Going outside, stop by and say hi to Serial Velocity before you leave. He's always coming up with all sorts of crazy inventions. By breaking physics and all the school ethics rules in his lab downstairs. Let's see. Hey, it's it's Rose Luck clone number three. So sleepy, I was up all night baking these muffins. They're for an exam for my home economics economics class. You can take these all they have is muffins in them, which are those like really shitty six hit point foods. If you take them, she gets really upset. She's like, why? Why would you do that? Why would you steal all my muffins that I needed for my class? Who's there? Oh, Apple Sneed and Twist. You startled me. Uh, I'm having trouble with a new invention. The invention is the Equestrian Innovations Time Space Indirection Reducer. What is that? The Itzir? I don't know. If Dr. Hooves were here, I'm sure he'd be able to help. He seems to know a thing or two about time. Anyways, I have a gift, but I've glued my hooves to the beakers, so I can't give it to you. Would you mind getting solvent from my locker? Here's my locker key. I'll use this Equestrian Innovations Clone Augmentation Array, which is the, I guess, the Aika, to copy your memories into a clone. It's kind of like saving a game. So she gives us a bent key for the locker. Key to the locker. A key to a regular locker. Yeah. Key is bent. 
Just it's a regular like, bent key. Just like she said, it's bent and probably won't fit. And you go try it, sure enough it is bent. Ah, the key didn't work, did it? So I just invented the, um... That's not supposed to be fire. No, no, the, the EPS manifold's collapsing, sorry. Anyways, forget the invention. Here, have these lockpicks. Ah oh, yes, nothing nothing like giving a little, little, little youngster tyke a pair of lockpicks because your invention didn't work because you have a bent key. Alright. Let's see, so Apple Sneed can repair stuff. Let's go use the lockpicks and steal stuff. Lockpick set. Sneed opened the lockpick uh, the locker using the lockpick set. Uh, there's a jar of solvent. Alright. Sneed opened the locker using the lockpick. There's nothing in there. Sneed opened the locker using the lockpick. It's a good thing she's got this single-sided jiggler with her, you know? She's like, for this oh there's a there's a home set. Yeah, I didn't know. She's like, Getting for this locker, I'm gonna need the single-sided jiggler. <laughs> now for this locker, I'm gonna need to try the single-sided jiggler. There's a plastic wrench in the locker. Right, that should be a weapon, I think. Yeah, it's a weapon for her. I don't think there's anything else in any of these. Uh, nothing in this locker. A broken drill. All right. uh, we better go give her the solvent so she can unglue her hooves from the beakers. A jar of solvent. What are my hooves? You pour the solvent on cereal velocity's hooves. Much better. Uh, oh, she gave she gave me some main supplies. It's a bunch of main styling supplies. Little fillies like those, right? So she gave us. You style your main look absolutely beautiful. Well, close enough, anyways. Main supplies. Supplies for keeping your main pretty. Okay then. Okay, now you with me is a step and climb over the gate. Well, I'll say goodbye for now. I don't know where you're going or why, but remember, we're PFFs, pony friends forever. And then she just bails. And then she just leaves, yeah. Drugstore best friend. So here's a whole area where like they change, like they don't have the sales pony here or salesperson there. They don't have the little monkey. There's no um, bubble gum and that kind of stuff. Um, they just removed all of that and changed it, so it's a different sequence from the original game, which is neat. Uh, there's there's an ATM, but Apple Snee does not have an ATM card, because only uh, Ness or Dinky has the ATM card. Which is, I can't get any money. But you can clone a memory. I think, I think she can sell stuff. Yeah, she can sell really expensive stuff, but, you know. I can't afford it because I only have two dara, two bit. Dang, you can't even get a cup of coffee. You can't swirl. even get a cup, a cup of coffee for two bits in this town. Ah, goat. Have anything to heal? We have broken. Maybe we should have picked up some of those really crappy, uh, <laughs> some of those really crappy muffins and stole them from Rose Luck. All I have is a boiled egg. Boiled egg's really powerful. But I guess I you're just gonna have to feed up dogs and hope they drop something. Ah, the one hit the dogs with my plastic wrench. Sketchy tent. Well, it's a tent for the, uh, the Steel Magnet Club. The tame animals become wild. Something evil's going on. Ah, th yeah, there's a full heal tent available. <laughs> Drink some tea, get fully healed. Farm more dogs for XP. In true My Little Pony fashion. Well, that 
dog just shrank from being a giant goat thing. magic butterfly here. It could, it could make Apple Sneed Nidakusu, but it doesn't really matter because she can't use magic, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Relaxing is only useful for magic users, as we all know. Engineers do not Nidakusu. The, the sea serpent likes windy days, but won't come up because it messes out his hair. This is kind of neat, though. Look at him. They, they, um... For the binoculars they're carrying, they add a little magic, like, halo to them, like they're all unicorns, uh, hovering the uh, binoculars in front of their face, the little magic aura. That's a neat little, little detail on the sprite. I like how they're just looking at trees, they're like, mm, is it over here? Is the sea serpent in the tree? This is, this is a meeting of the world-famous equestrian cryptozoology society. By world-famous, I mean sometimes heard of us. They mostly make fun of us. Well, actually, I think one of them says that. Is it one of them over here? Like, yeah, let's go over here in the forest, talk to him. I bet the sea serpent may actually be a forest serpent. Well, that's all he says. I think in the in the, like, the original game, the script, he's a little bit more. He's like, you know, I think he might actually show up in the forest. I'm out here because if it turns out he actually is like a forest creature, then I'll be the first one to find it. I'm the cook. How about some stew? I'll take some stew. And we also sleep for the night. Oh, sweet swivel. Apple sneed. I'm contacting you with ESP. Apple Sneed. Head south. Alright, so because we slept there and eat stew, it's now daytime. And it's a windy day, so as they said, Steven Magnet will not show up on a windy day because it messes his mane up. But... Oh, we gotta, get our we, get, we gotta get our picture taken again. Hey, you're looking like these other children I'm following around. Apple Sneed doesn't even pose for it. Like, normally Dinky stops and does a different pose where she, she forces herself into, like, the down-facing sprite. Apple Sneed doesn't even care. I just stay with the exact same sprite. If I come here, it just automatically triggers it. And this guy's sprite was pretty good. Look at that. It's Steven Magnet. Oh, wow, it is. There you go. Oh, is that a full main grooming kit from Ventasso Sassoon? Can't believe it. I was sure I had to spend all day hiding underneath the water just to keep this horrible wind from messing up my hair. He takes the main supplies and then takes you across. The best of friends. It is kind of weird. Like, what's going on with his left hand? What's he doing with that left hand? He's covering his uh, upper abdomen. Oh, he's covering him. No, that, that's his right hand. I'm saying his left. Yeah, I know. Like, uh, you know how long this guy probably is. Okay, it just looks weird to me. Like, I don't know. Like, if he's reaching for his dick, he's gonna have to reach a lot lower <laughs> down, probably. Like, I don't know about this reaching for a dick stuff. I'm just saying he looks weird, all right? I'm just saying his arm looks weird. Well, look, man, he was talking about hair products. He picked up a filly, dragged it across the river. I don't know what's going on. He took our hair products, actually. He just took it. He just grabbed them. Which is nice, because it's out of, out of our inventory, that means. Another goat. And straight into getting killed by a goat. Thank you, Stephen Magnet. I wonder what happens if you get defeated right here, actually. Like, I guess you'd have to respawn up at the, the last place you saved. Normally that's what happens. But that means to get back down here, will he just show up again? I don't know what'll happen. And, and maybe, we'll, maybe we'll find out in a sec if this goat kills us. 
one thing I do know, and this was at least in the version that was, uh, you know, it might have been a different version, like an earlier version, but um, the cart that they had at Winnie City, uh, I did get defeated once here when I was just Apple Sneed, and uh, they didn't have, in the defeated one, it shows like your character standing there defeated and says like, do you want to try again? They actually had the original Jeff sprite from Mother 2 as the sprite instead of Apple Sneed. Welcome Dang. to the Human History Museum, Lyra. So instead of a, a makeshift dungeon, this is instead a Human History Museum. They replaced Brick Road with Lyra. Ooh, the Rowdy Mouse. Now that's a throwback. Oh no, 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 okay. Narrow, oh, oh no, oh no, 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 okay. Yeah, see, we're fine. No problem. Redux. It's a bread roll. That's just what Ooh, I needed. bread. Eat the bread roll. 20 hit points. Not bad. I think I want to go up this way. We use an item up this way. Also a duck. The mad duck. He's mad. I'm not able to concentrate. Oh, I can't use magic. Oh, no. <laughs> A fresh egg? Hell yeah. Let's see. What's my status? You know what? So fresh eggs. Fresh egg. When eaten, you recover 80 hit points. So fresh, it's still warm. If you keep a fresh egg in your inventory for a little while, it hatches into a chick. And then, if you keep a chick in your inventory for a while... If you use a chick, you take it out of your pack and it just immediately runs away. Uh, if you keep it in your pack for a while, it eventually grows into a chicken. And I think if you use a chicken, it probably just runs away as well. If you keep a chicken in your inventory, it starts laying eggs. And then you just, you start, just eggs just start appearing in your inventory, if you have inventory space. You have millions of eggs. How mean of the game to call these guys worthless protoplasms? Well, uh, so in in the original game, they didn't have the protoplasm on there. They were just like, I. <laughs> their name was, what was it exactly? Um. They didn't say. I don't think these like Ore or something. But but their name is just like, I I am worthless. <laughs> Yeah, or, or like I have no purpose, or like no purpose, or something like that. I think it's his name. I'm gonna eat the fresh egg. Let's see here. The humans had special photographs that kept moving images. The museum does not have any of those. Live. But mentioning photographs makes photo fish appear. Photo fish? I don't remember the next line of the, the YTP after photo fish. Oh, doesn't matter because she's gone now. Duck. Maybe I can get another fresh egg. Maybe, maybe I'll let this one hatch. These ducks are kind of cool. All they do is fall down, make things spin around, uh, disrupt my senses so I can't use magic that I already can't use, and then uh, just that, that's about it. And then I just get lots of XP from them. But they're mad. You can see it in their eyes. We're playing some Equestria Bound. Let's play part two. Ask, what is this game? You know, there is this game on the. that somebody made. I don't know if they just made it for the iPhone, but it wasn't the iPhone. And it had. shit, I wish I could remember this game. It had gems and shit, and it was like. 
What's the style? Of, what was the style of game that uh, Pokemon was? What's that style of game called? The, the original. I think you're talking about Battle Gym ponies, right? <sighs> that might be it. That might be it. A metal wrench. Big up. Now you can do damage. Thirty-two offense. Did, did I get an egg from that guy? No, he didn't drop anything. Damn it. You went from swinging a little plastic thing around to a full-blown wrench. Well, it was a plastic wrench before. The exhibit is closed for maintenance, Lyra. Thank you, Lyra. There's Lyra! It's her! It's Best Pony! So, did you enjoy it? What do you mean you don't know what it was? I'm Lyra, and it's my human museum. After taking some time to think after my uh, episode, I decided I should put all the human artifacts I found in a museum. Which means nothing, because she has no art artifacts. I'm still looking. That way, when I uh, when ponies see it, they'll have to know humans are real. Just a stepping stone. With the help of Doctor Who's, she's found a way to get a fake human body. Okay, that's weird. Next time you see me, don't see surprise if I'm a human. That took a while, didn't it? Uh, take a nap before I leave. Yes, please give me full healing. I mean, it's kind of yes, it's like kind of weird. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of weird when this Phil when when this adult mayor just like, hi Philly, would you like to take a nap with me? Oh, okay. Brilliant. Yeah, like, the question is so wholesome that you never have to worry about. All right, full heal. This is the true travesty of Lyra's goal. She doesn't know what she's going to bring into this world. Oh, one hit. No problem. <laughs> if only this metal wrench had like one more offense, we could probably get the, the insta victory on those mice. Ah, these slugs. I remember the XP that these slugs give. That was that was a good time in the in the Pinkie Pie area. Isn't the game Earthbound? Aliens coming to Earth and stuff? Uh, sort of. Okay. So if this is Equestria now, are there well, going to be like... So this is, it's just set, I mean, it's, it's Equestria bound just because it's, you know, it's Mother 2, it's Earthbound, it's just using the same game, so they just used the English localized title to added Equestria instead of Earth to it. Um, in this one, the villains is the, the, the Force of the Nightmare from Nightmare Moon. It's, oh, sick! It's Nightmare Moon in the future, became Nightmare Moon again. And so, uh, Luna and Celestia sent... Luna, I guess, they, 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 they transformed Luna uh, and sent her back in time to warn us that the Force of the Nightmare is going to become powerful again. And so oh, the, sick. So this is like, this is like the, the Nightmare Forces from the comics kind of thing. Um, I don't think they're trying to specifically follow that. I will see. I haven't, I haven't played through the game yet. Um... But it is just like, hey, the, you know, the night, pretty much Nightmare Moon returns in the future and is powerful and apparently teams up. Some of the guys talk about it like she's teamed up with Sombra and whatever others. It, it's like the, the the evil league of evil, you know, except instead of, <laughs> instead of waiting until season nine, this is somebody's you know, fanfic from like season four or whenever this was done. Um, yeah, the show, the show aped their idea. Yeah, the, the evil League of Evil wins in the future, so Princess Luna came back in time and warned us about it and said, Only you, Dinky, and the Cutie Mark Crusaders can save the world. You have to stop Season 9 from being a reality. Stop the Haberverse. Yeah, and so you have uh, the characters are the Cutie Mark Crusaders and the main character is Dinky. Because <laughs> that way they can have, like, uh, Derby be your mother and stuff like that. And because they needed, they needed a certain number of unicorns, like, uh, you know, Swibble and Diggy can use magic. That's what they do for their psychic powers that the, normally the, the kids have ESP, but instead they have magic because they're unicorns. And, like, that's why Apple, Apple Bloom, or Apple Sneed, as we've named her in our, <laughs> our file, um, she can't use magic. Well, of course, she's not a unicorn, you know. The Thracker's odd can. That would have been a good. So when you're naming the characters, you you the character will be named Sweetie Blank, and you can pick what goes in the blank. Um, and something like this. This is Apple Blank. So we named her Apple Sneed. But yeah, the name of like Thrax would be cool if it were not if it were possible to do that. This has Just, gotta be after uh, after all that came out. They should have known. Yeah, that was all very. So th this is like 2015. Oh 
yeah, yeah, that was well established. Yeah, this is this is you know Pat. This this came out after you know season three and four, like you know after season four because it's twenty fifteen. Um, but uh, you need to go back and make a patch. It's the it's setted. It, it's it, the setting is like. Uh, during season three, because you know it's after we have Sombra, it's after we have Discord. Um, it's Twilight's not a princess though, so it's like Twilight's not a princess yet. Oh, D yeah. Discord, Discord's a hundred percent a villain in this, you know. So. Oh shit! So he's part of the League of Evil. Yeah, he's part of the Evil League of Evil, exactly. Oh damn, they're fucked. I don't think there's anything good up this up this way. I'm, I'll go up here anyways. I sure hope I don't get a. Oh wait, I was gonna say I sure hope I get a mushroom on my head, but as long as they fight me one by one, I can insta victory. Is it canon that Discord can like? I guess like time travel or whatever that he like basically can just fuck around with time or, or go around time. That can. Um, it never, sh never in the show. I don't think they ever have any kind of time travel stuff show up, right? No, yeah, they did they, have time travel, but I don't know. If uh, well, or, they have time travel with with Starlight that one time, but. Actually, no. Then also the potion. Well, the, po the, the, the potion shows her a vision. It doesn't actually travel her in yeah, time. And they, they, okay, so they have Starlight does the, the time travel in that big episode, and then of course they have the episode "It's About Time," where she does get the time spell and travel back in time to warn herself once. But oh, that's uh, right, I forgot about that one. But yeah, I, I don't, I don't recall anything with Discord going through time. They, they do have times people they show people visions of the past, or maybe, maybe even of the future. I don't remember anything like that. Maybe, there might yeah, maybe be. Discord can see visions. But I, 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 they've never shown him doing that. I would believe that he does have like the ability because his you know his whole thing is he has the ability to have any power he wants right he, he has absolute yeah, he reality like control reality. he's chaos yeah you know? the, the only reason like chaos. the limit the reason his power is limited isn't because his power is actually limited it's just because his will to use it is because he has like infinite power to change reality any way he wants but there's that there's that caveat of in any way he wants and the thing is he always by definition only wants to do things that he thinks are going to be funny you know, so. That's true. That's true. Yeah. So I'd say yeah, sure. Can, the, can he do time travel? Probably, but he just doesn't. No, nope. we'll we will leave the muffin behind. I abandon the muffin, and I'll kill this guy for free XP. <laughs> Hey, it's Applejack. Sorry, Apple Sneed. You can't come in here right now. <laughs> this ain't a place for fillies. That's fine, Applejack. I'll come back with my friends, and then we'll see if it's a place for fillies. It's an adult club. Oh shit. So I don't. It's these, a deep dank cave. These are cave. These are the cavemen. They're cave ponies. They will fuck fuck me up right now. These stone. It's a Stonehenge. UFOs visit here. You must have read about it. If you can read, that is. What's in the lab? It's Doctor Hooves' lab. Oh. It's revitalized. Let's save the game. Oh, apples need. Yeah, let's save the game real quick. All right, I think there's an item upstairs, and then that's it for here. I talk to talk to Doctor Hooves. I'm gonna throw away the protractor. Protractor, you can even use it in battle. You can't use it anytime. Yeah, it's useless. Uh, throw away. Open the prison. There's a broken pipe. A Holmes hat? It's like a, like a deer hunter. Oh, 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 okay, okay, I see. <laughs> wow, I should have. Really deer, deer stalker, I think is the term. Whatever, you know what I'm talking about. It's, it's a, yeah. yeah. It's such a weird name for a hat. And any of the items that have E on, that means they're equipped right now. Oh, okay. So you can go to oh, your equip item and see what you can equip. Show up on your body. Yeah, so you go to equip and you can see where the, you have things equipped, but you, they actually take up inventory slots, so you have to also see them in your inventory and it tells you if they're equipped. I wonder how much work it'd be to make sprites for all the individual, like, equipable items. So that way, like, and, and write scripts so that way it places them on your character when you're wearing them. Um, doing that would be pretty big for this engine because it doesn't have any of that, like it doesn't have support for any of that kind of stuff built in, so you'd have really, to it completely recode a lot of it. Whereas things like and this are all done working within the engine itself, and so like this entire hack is, is not yeah. as monumental as that because it requires lots of mm. scripting, but it's all working within... I mean, this hack is much more extensive than some of the other hacks I've seen, and like 
there might be a little bit more custom, but I, I don't think so. I think this is still just all within the bounds of what the scripting engine can do. Oh, okay. So I, I for some reason, I thought this was like kind of a thing on its own. Maybe it might have like borrowed stuff, but I didn't realize it was no. built on the existing like architecture and all that. Or not arch you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. so this, this is like they, they replaced, the, they replaced the, the sprites. They replaced the script for the game. Um, and then they also, oh, wow. for, for any custom NPCs or custom sequences, they will go do some scripting for that. But it's all... So most of the game is still the same game. You know, the, these are, all these areas are all the same maps and everything, and the way the game works is the base game. So, yeah, it's Dr. Hoops. Doctor, a name, Smith. Wait, no, that's not a pony name. Time Turner? Time Turner. Uh, yes. <laughs> Apple Sneed, right? You're at the boarding school of the north? I think it might come in handy. I'm trying to fix... Never mind that. He made a test trying to fix one of the parts. He needs to try something out. It's called the Sky Trotter. Sky Trotter. I think it's still a word. <laughs> <laughs> uh, get in. Follow the tracking signal. Go on. It's the roundish thing over there. Let's get in the Sky Tracker and go to Philadelphia. Sky Trotter. Whatever. No, no, this is all just a little, like, cinematic. Oh, okay. You do have to push a button on your controller before it'll start, though, and that's their joke. A little uh, fourth wall breakiness. They do that sometimes, too. Like, when the person at the library gives you a town map, she's like, how do you view the town map? You just push the X button. You know, that's the button at the top of the controller. What's that mean? I don't know. I'm sure you'll figure it out. You know, stuff like that. <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot of pinky pie fourth wall breaks in this. Uh, well, Pinkie Pie is an interesting character in this one. They did a really good job writing her script. I will say that for sure. Um, we, we talked to her already in the second town, and she's going to show up here again. Well, she won't show up, but she'll call us. And yeah, I can't wait to see what she sounds like on the phone, because they'll probably have really good dialogue for her again. What, one of her fourth wall breaks is like the second time you're talking with her, she's like, Oh, hi, you know, dollar sign, open bracket, name one, close bracket. Oh, I mean, <laughs> hi, Dinky. Uh, you know, it makes it look like you know like a coding error where they accidentally didn't read the character name string correctly, but she was she just like joking around. It. Yeah, and she's like, "Oh, I'm, I mean, sorry, I mean, hi, Dinky." You know, it'd be really incredible to do. Um, it's like write some code, and get it with like some AI uh, and like facial recognition stuff, to where you have a code that runs in the background, turns on the camera, takes a picture, then like processes the image, and then he like describes like you. So you're not piloting this? No, this is just a little cinematic. Oh, really? It, 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 just, it flies around town and has like this little, uh, you know, you're, you're getting cold, you're getting hot thing beeping on the top until it homes in on the location you're trying to go to, which is where your friends, the uh, Sweetie Belle and Dinky, are currently captured. And then it goes straight to them. Because they were they were they were thrown in this secret hole in the middle of the um, graveyard. Oh, they they even put a little ah for Apple Sneed talking. I beat it. Looks like the sky trotter took a bit of damage in the crash. Oh well, Dinky, Sweetie Belle, I got your message. I didn't even know you could do that, Sweetie Belle. Anyway, Sweetie said y'all need saving, so I'm here to save you. Need joins the party. Yeah, you can't remember to say that. Apple Sneed joined you. All right, so now we got Apple Sneed with us. Uh, let's see. What, what is she missing? She's missing something. Oh, a body. I don't think I have any body, body items we can get now. Uh, cheap. We can get a, a bracelet upgrade. Um, although I'm not going to. I think there's another bracelet upgrade that you can find in the next little like dungeon area. Uh, and a home hat. We can go buy her a hard hat, which would be way better. Let's do that. Oh yeah, so the reason we needed her was because the door was locked and she brought lockpicks with her. Like any responsible uh, filly does. Easy. We all like... 
Ah, good. We're all full health. We're all perfect. the lag there must be enemies about yeah there's a lot of enemies oh just one at a time easy well, that's a cute marionette icon the little pony version of it save. So let's see what we have going on. So when we first came to town all we know is that there's zombies and whatnot and apparently they're led by Gilda. And they got the big Wait, circus the, tent. The yeah, Gilda yeah. is the replacement for the boss area of this third town. And she was, she's, she's, leading a bunch of she's leading zombies. Yeah, as, as the person says, like, how? She's like, why would a griffin be leading zombies? How would a griffin be leading zombies? We don't know, but apparently she is. Um, so there's a circus tent in the center of town is where the, the people are, you know, trying to mount their defense from. Yeah, these guys are talking about it. I left my wife and falls at home to escape. Yeah, he's a pretty, pretty nasty guy. So anyways, they just say like, hey, we really need to do something about these zombies. What are we going to do? That's their like anti-zombie task force. So last Zombies. time, last time, so when we first come to this town, uh, which I guess you didn't see because you weren't here at the, when we were here, but um, you know that, that's how we find out. We find out that and talk to it. We go up north. Uh, ring span, I guess I will take this. I've got a new weapon. Can't carry it though. Uh, can I sell something? Croissants, boiled egg, croissants, croissants, I'll sell the vermouth, I don't need this. Nine dollars. Oops, I meant to say no. Oh well. Uh, some more vermouth aside? I'll keep, I'll keep some vermouth aside. I want the pencil rocket, those are really good. I want the bottle rocket, and then a boiled egg. Alright, we will give this... To swivel. Yes, give me the new spanner. What else do we need? I'll buy another pencil rock for uh, Oh, yeah, we need to buy our hard hat as well. That should be at the drugstore. So, yeah, we yeah, need What? So we're all gonna wear helmets, right? All three Phillies need helmets. They're all special. They need special helmets. Yeah. Uh, you know what? That yeah, Vermicide can also be bought. You know, I'm not. Yeah. Why this menu? I keep pushing A because I want to go to the next. Say yes next, and it keeps accidentally grabbing buy instead. Yeah. Well, where's the Vermicide? Oh wait, defense spray. I'm never gonna use that. That's worth a lot of money. Right. Wait, now give me a helmet. Ooh, 
Ooh, Sneed can wear a ribbon. Wait a minute. Big ribbon. That it big? might be a accessory. Oh, that that's what it is. No, it, it's um, it goes in the same. I shouldn't have bought the hard hat. It goes in that place. In the original game, you couldn't have the second character, who's now Sweetie Belle, equip the hard hat. It wasn't allowed. But she could equip the ribbon. Whereas in this one, it's because it's Apple, it's Apple Bloom is the third character. Instead of Apple Bloom not being able to equip the ribbon, Apple Bloom is the one that can equip the ribbon. Okay. Well, I wasted some money, but that's all right. Dad will just give us more money. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I'll, I'll sell the hard hat right back. Dang it. Okay, well, at least we got a good, good ribbon. So yeah, since, since since we got we found out about the zombies and that Gilda was in charge of them, and then we got kidnapped and thrown in the hole. Now, in the time we spent in the hole, while we waited for uh, Apples need to come, there's been new developments in town. If you talk to some ponies, they'll tell us about it. I didn't talk to anybody, but whatever. And they tell us that there is a new uh, circus tent on the south side of town. And it turns out that new uh, circus tent is actually put up by the zombies, and so we need to go stop it. And that's the next sequence in the game. just a monster. And I bet you it resists ice, just like like all the enemies do, pretty much. All the like, So many boss enemies resist ice just because of single target ability. Yeah, it only does 17 damage. Oh, it did freeze him, though. Fires a ton of damage. Wow, Sneed got a triple level up. Big levels for Big Philly. Yeah, Big Philly. What we find is a can of meat. Can of meat. This is the stuff carnivores eat. It smells horrible and is made of dead animals. Why would ponies even have this? Yep, yep, yep. Dude, what the heck is that? This is the marionette. A marionette. Oh, the marionette. And I don't care about using up all my magic, like all my MP right now, because I'm gonna have to take a hotel rest in a moment to get to the next part, so I'm like, I don't care, let's use all my MP. Yeah, I'll use more MP, I'll get more XP, why not? And Philadelphia is kind of a shithole, huh? Well, it's very gloomy, right? It's the Gloom Society took over. Even uh, Vinyl said so. They gotta restore Thursday to their rightful pony representative. Man, you guys are getting all the ones. Mm -hmm. Actually, what we, have, what we have to do now is we have to walk around until uh, Pinkie Pie calls us. She should call us in a few moments. There we go. Hi, Dinky, it's Pinkie Pie. I'm just calling you because I just made a crazy new treat that I thought you'd like. It's called Zombie Molasses. It's a super sweet, super sticky molasses that zombies would just love. If you were to pour it over a large area, all the zombies would come there to eat it up. I'm sure it'd be a great hit if you ever throw some kind of zombie party. It's really sticky, so they'll probably get stuck. And you know what that means? It means that you need to plan lots of games that don't involve walking around. 
Ooh, I should start planning a zombie theme party too. I need somewhere really big, like a circus tent. I grabbed the mock pizza colt and asked me to give it to you. You should be by soon. I've got lots of planning for this new party, but I'll call you if I bake anything else. Bye. And now we need to walk around and tell the pizza delivery man. Ooh, butterfly. Need that kusu. Oh, we can't do that kusu. We... Oh, the delivery man's the here. Pizza delivery pony. <laughs> Uh, hello? Hi. Pinkie Pie asked me to give a package to somebody named Dinky. She's supposed to be around here. I'm not supposed to take any packages beside pizza, but Pinkie Pie threw me a great birthday party last month, so you wouldn't happen to know who Dinky is? Oh, it's you? That's great. I'll just give you this thingamajig. We got the zombie molasses. Alright, well, bye then. See ya, pizza pony. Alright. Deducks. Deducks. Okay. So now that we have zombie molasses, we can go spread the zombie molasses all over the circus tent. And then we just have to sleep for one night. We should try zombie paper as some kind of trap. We have to do something. So we're going to use this tent as a trap. Yes. Well, we'll give it a try. It's better than nothing. Maybe try getting all the zombies in a single spot. Yeah, that's what we do. Place the zombie molasses. Place zombie molasses on the floor. You're like, hey, stupid zombies, come out. The suspense is killing. We're gonna attract all the zombies to the uh, to the tent, and then they're gonna get stuck. Just imagine, wake up. You're really gross. Yeah. So we're gonna attract all the zombies into the tent. And they're gonna get stuck in the molasses, and bing, bang, boom. No more zombie problem. Dad, here's 628. Yeah, here's 628 bits, by the way, Dinky, just in case you needed some. Okay. One night stay will be 180 bits. Ooh, nice. Nice, yeah. clean 600 bit. Ah, see, overnight, here's the, the little Pony of Shadow looking things. Freaking story, story of the blank looking ass, fucking ass, zombie ass ponies. Oh, and a dog. And a zombie and dog. And a dog. <laughs> Ma'am, you're working hard even though you're young. The guest newspaper today are a little bit different than normal. The paper's called the Zombie Herald. Boogie Tent Falls, Young Pony to Blame. A few days ago, the zombies got some foals at this hotel. Two unicorn fillies, a purple unicorn with a blonde mane. Hey, it was you! <laughs> All right. Whoops, our bad. <laughs> Did we let you do that? Hey, they shouldn't have been chasing after that, like, uh, prostitute pony. See, all, all the zombies now are all stuck in the molasses. I try to get them and bottle just fall apart. I'm a zombie. You're the enemy of all zombies, you monster. Uh, zombie molasses really works. I hope someone makes pretty mare molasses. Uh, you didn't hear me suggest that. Oh, but I did, sir. I did. And I'm right there with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a great idea. I need to get some fan art made of, of pretty mare molasses now. Alright, so now there are no more zombies. There's still ghosts and monsters, just not zombies. But uh, now we can go up north to the area they had blocked off. <laughs> That's a, a nice post you put there. Nice, nice image. Were you were you making that as soon as we had that guy appear on screen? Yes. Well, once we entered the liar's human cave, I was like, I gotta do this. Yeah, you got you got some good pixel art skills. These oops, got some good pixel art skills these days, man. <laughs> Thanks. It's not even pixel. It's not even pixel art. I mean, yeah, but it's still pretty good. Thank you. Thank you. The trotting that finally we actually get to fight one of these things. Look how sick their sprite looks, dude. Just 
Oh, there, of course, there resistance to ice. Of course. Well, I guess maybe they're weak to fire. Is that it? Like, fire, I never like using on single guys because it's whole thing is that it's like an AoE attack, so it's usually not very good on single targets, but I think they... Ooh, easy win. Uh, da, a Canter Cola. Does anybody hurt any drink, drink some cola? No. I don't like it. Canter Cola, I think, is, just, is the, uh, the skip sandwich replacement. It just makes you run fast. Ah, uh, zombie dog. Ah, uh, this, this, the zombie dog is vulnerable to ice. I think that's what it is. But the regular zombies are not. Nope. Dang it. I thought zombies were afraid of fire. Well, yeah. That, that's why I said about the regular zombie. I'm sure that I'm supposed to use fire on them because it'll actually damage them. But, because it usually does very little damage if you use it on a single target. That's, that's, that's how the side fire works. PK fire. But, uh, I guess maybe I should use it even on single guys. But I, I was thinking, for some reason, that I was thinking one of these guys you still use ice on. Hey, it, it didn't, it wasn't a complete failure though, because it did freeze them. So, frozen for a turn. Yeah, I'll try fire this time. Yeah, that did a lot more damage. Not that much. Like, Dinky can do more damage just with an auto attack. I think he's like roided out. Well, Apple sneaks 86. But yeah, Dinky is. <laughs> Dinky's just throwing mail at him, dude. Got the. <laughs> it's why. Got what, that what was it? String. It had that uh, two day envelope. Remember that, that two day envelope costs like 400 bits? Ah, see, so silver bracelet. Uh, sweet, I'll equip that. Better defense, and then we will give the cover bracelet. She's unequipped to Apple Sneed. Apple Sneed will equip it. All right. We all we always have the edible boots. Don't forget that. She has one croissant, one pencil rock, one bottle rock. I think, actually, thinking about it, this, like, mini-boss guy up here, I might be able to beat him with a jar of meat as well. That might be in it. Oh, shit. Maybe, Ghost. maybe ice works on these guys. Something works on them, I'm telling you. I swear, I swear something works on one of these things. Okay, 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 don't, don't, don't do it. No, the mini ghosts are the worst thing. Ah, see, fire does not work on these guys, but I think ice would. What? Wow, the power of mares was... Okay. It's the last on the dead. We'll use... Oh my gosh, it's terrible. Okay, it's just attacking. The tiny little ghosts are so terrible. The little ghost, like, gives... Effectively gives the enemies an... Ah, there you go. That's... Yeah, ice works on these guys. Because it can, it can freeze you for a turn. Every single turn, the enemies get an extra action where they can just completely make one of your characters lose their turn. Okay. So yeah, this Griffin, I realize... I was actually playing, you know, Mother 3 earlier today, just for fun, or Mother 2. And, uh... I fought him normally. It was kind of a tough fight, but I realized I think you can use it on him as well. It doesn't use it up for the second fight? No, it never uses it up. And I'm pretty sure ice won't work on him, but I'll try it anyways. Sneed's body was solidified. Ooh, it does work on him. Alright, easy. Big damage. Talk about big damage. Oh yeah, it, just, it didn't smell like something she would like. You know what? I will even... I'll recover you. Why not? Damn it! Hmm. 
Alright. That was easy. That, that ice that is way too strong on her. As long as the enemy doesn't resist it, you just kill anything with ice. Ooh, healing beta. Oh, now I have fire beta. You beat me? You're just children. Chicks. Holes. Eh, he's dead. Literal Get him death. Out of here. Literal death. Oh, uh, great. It's the ghost. She will sell us croissants mm, and stick, stick of butter. Of butter. Ah, uh, let's just eat a stick of butter. I'm gonna buy one just so we can eat it. Wanna, you want the stick of butter? Uh, yes. okay, who's gonna carry this? Sweetie Belle. Sweetie Belle loves butter. You want a flavor card? There's a village full of interesting pe people? Just ahead. Go there and take a good rest. I've heard the name of the Saturn Valley, but it cannot be found on any map. See, I, I wanted to change the name of the, the, the village as well. Um, stick of butter. Stick of butter. When eaten, you recover 60 hit point. That's all it is. It's literally just a stick of butter you can eat. Yeah, this stupid ghost floating around us. But I want the I want the butterfly. I want to need that. Armor frog. Yeah, I think I think it is supposed to be story of the blanks is what they're all supposed to look like. The blank thumb. No, I don't use the power of mares. was this big. Yeah, I think it was funny, like, a couple of those ants ran towards me and some of them were running away because they were afraid. Yeah, it must have been these little black ones because they were really weak from that first dungeon. The little weak ones wanted to run away. But the flaming hot ones are ready to fight. Ah, more of that little ghost with the icy hand. They didn't, they didn't yeah. want any of Dinky's mare powers, that's why they were running away. Trampled by mares. Not a bad way to go, if you ask me. Especially if you like hooves. There's a bomb inside! A bomb! <laughs> a bomb! Here you go, Applesneed. They gave the bomb to Applesneed. I'm glad I have enough MP left to keep using this. Like, I'm glad I didn't use hardly any of it at all in, in the actual fight. Boss fight or whatever. Beta mares. Oh my gosh, so many people survived. I, was, I thought I was gonna clear the whole... Oh no. Okay, goodbye. Too bad that he bailed before he could see the village. That's true. Isn't it like just up this road? Mm hmm. You know what? Sweet Bell looks hurt. You know what? You know what time it is? Time to get a stick of butter. Bell ate the stick. Well, I should have had somebody else do it because it would say like Dinky took out the stick of butter and made Sweetie Bell eat it. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, Sweetie Bell ate the stick of butter. Her hit points are maxed out. Oh, there's a cider. 
Cider, one of the famed products of Sweet Apple Acres. This drink is very popular with adults, but fools can't have it. Hey, you're not allowed to drink this, but if you do, you'll recover 80 hit points. We'll give it to Apple Sneed. She has all the adult things, like bombs and cider. She's a very mature fool. Yeah, so it, the, the, the village is right through here. And so I realized... I think we don't have any Vermicide left, right? Yeah. Um, when when I had been playing in Winnie City, you, you talk to one of the old Mr. Saturn um, guys is in the human human village. He's behind, he's, he's like boarded up in a house and won't come out. He says like, you know, oh, I don't know. Are you dangerous? Are you part of the cult or are you friends? And he says like, you know, there is nice Philly village that I want to go back to or whatever. When he said that, I interpreted that as meaning him saying like, oh, it's Philly village, which is why I thought of uh, Saturn Village is like, oh, is Saturn Village replaced with a Philly Village? That would be really cute and fun. Uh, I think I realize now what he meant was Philly, because Philadelphia is the name of the third town, and this place is past the tunnel, so I guess he's, it might have been that they, what they meant for you to infer was that, oh, this is the village of his friends that are nearby Philadelphia, nearby the Philly town. But I had a totally different interpretation of it, which is why we went and hacked it up. And let's see, let's see how well your hack worked. Okay, there it is. Oh, oh. It's the Philly town. Ah, oh, so cute. We feel groove. I hope you see. Uh, we didn't look into actually doing the script replacement, but it shouldn't be that hard actually to go in there and replace like the dialogue and make it say, like, hey, me, a non-Philly. Just imagine that. Hi-ho, me, a non-Philly. This place, all are a non-Philly. Uh, let's go get healed by Dr. Philly. Get this ghost taken out of us. There she is! I'm Dr. Philly, zoom. And I can repair your body. Boing, do you want me to operate on you? Yes. You all fixed up. Goody. Uh, the Anon Philly Village, I'm loving this. Look at the, look at her! Once upon a time, we were many, many. Every day, slowly, or less, less. Why? Hmm, when... Could, could it be because Anon Philly threads were banned for a time? Hmm. Deep lore. Yeah. You want slumber? Kale. Dude, these are Anon Phillies. Oh, what? Sneed fixed the broken iron. It was a slime generator. These Phillies are great! Look at them! Oh, They're grooving. It. Yeah, they feel the groove. Uh, Dink, get your dad. Hey, uh, I deposited $1,600 into your bank account. Think of that, I'm gonna call the Equestrian Postal Service. The Equestrian Postal Service. Was oh, that you, Dinky? Muffin, it's me, your mom. I had a few crashes. I uh, hurt my head, so they have me work in the storage facility. Uh, I want to go pick up. You want us to store something for you? We'll send someone over immediately. All right, good. Go outside, wait for the delivery pony. Yeah. Hello, this is a question post a question post service. Your charge delivery is a char delivery charge! Yeah, I can cover 18 bits. Alright. Uh, we don't need the backstage pass, I don't think. Oh, yeah, we did have some some spray left. Um Something else we don't need that I saw in my inventory that I want to get rid of. There's Holmes hat. We can, we can sell the Holmes hat. That would be good. Um, we can sell the plastic wrench. I didn't sell that either. We can sell, we can sell stuff. I, I thought there was something I had in my inventory that I didn't need. I guess it's just the backstage pass, maybe. Okay, I guess that's it. Can you take the backstage pass? Yep. Hmm, item. Uh, what's in here? Trash! Let's see here. Is a protractor? That's a, that is that is trash. Let's see here. Is a sudden guts pill. And that's this one. Big guts. A broken spray can. It's 
Sudden Guts, that, that's using combat, I think, right? It's not like the permanent upgrade. Doubles during battle. Yeah, I don't think I need that. You probably just sell it. I don't think the Broken Spray can... I, I bet you if Sneed fixes it, the Broken Spray can just be like a defense spray, and I don't really need those. Ah, you, me, we look a bit like the same. Yes, we do, Anon Philly. I give you a special thing. Not now. I give you on the way back. Bye, later. Base secret. Base behind Grapefruit Falls. Password? I tell. Cranky lady say, say password. And stand still. Wait for three minutes. What a password. So, boy, you have 380 bit. We trade secret herb. So, you have 1780 bit. We trade horn of life. Horny life, yes. Or do you like? Scary claw lady. Scary, loud, cranky, go and la 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 ding, scary. Yes, horny life. Oh, look at her dance, look at her grooving. He's grooving, they're all grooving. He's grooving to the music. I love it. Hey, hi. You want to buy? And sell too. I, Mr. Enon Philly, can do all for you. What do you want to sell? Uh, 200 bucks? Sure. Peanut cheese bar. I kind of want to get that. I think you should get that just to force feed one of your <laughs> peanut cheese bar. The peanut, peanut cheese, cheese bar? bar, which you carry this burden. <laughs> the, the the peanut cheese bar is a great burden to carry. Let's uh, see the wrench. I think right. Yeah, we have a wrench to sell. Plastic wrench. Plastic wrench. I'll give you fifty-five bucks. Oh, thank you. Sell. Cheap bracelet. Cheap bracelet? Mm, 49 bucks, okay. Money for big food. Do that for a sec. Hi, I'm buying. I, an Aunt Philly, can do all for you. A lawn dart, a travel charm, a sweater, silver bracelet, a red ribbon. Ooh, a red ribbon. Which of you will carry this burden? Apple Sneed will carry the burden. Uh, let's buy a lawn dart. A lawn dart? Which you will carry this burden. Buy another lawn dart. Who will carry this burden? Swivel will. Buy sweaters and silver. sweaters for everybody and silver bracelet. That's gonna be a lot of money. Good thing, uh, good old dad just deposited like 1600 bucks for us. Bits withdraw. Which of you will carry this burden? sell the copper bracelet and we'll buy another silver one I think 
that's it, right? All right, we're all, yeah. we're all equipped up. Thank you, Anon Philly. I got some big Philly upgrades. Well, what's this Philly doing blocking the top of the, the ladder with her fat ass? Philly City, all zombie full. I saw. Pony go meat delivery behind falls. Zoom. Philly City. This is Philly City, dude. Dumb little non Philly. Oh, it's the hot springs. Lots of friends taken behind falls. Why? Why? Dude, I love this non Philly village. It's it's like, I don't see why they didn't do this to begin with. In the original hack, they didn't even replace Mr. Saturn's at all. They were still just straight up Mr. Saturn's. Uh, it's because they love Mr. Saturn. Like it's like that is true, I guess. But this is brilliant. This works. This this works so well. You just got to replace all of their ding and boing with uh, you know various extras. Yeah, <laughs> that would be the only thing that makes it better. <laughs> I fix you up real good. Mm, fuck! <laughs> wow. Oh, that's a that's a big level up for Sneed. Dinky leveled up and got a dinky little one hit point, and that was it. No other stats. It's been a while since you've gotten an O baby. O baby. Baby, Sneed had that massive level up and now she just does smash attacks and kills things. Big dip. Uh, no, Apple, Apple Bloom does not have a big dick. I mean, the big damage, big damage. Big damage, yeah, that's, that's right. This push to talk is gonna be the death of me. You, you, what does that have to do with you saying that Apple Bloom has a dick? It, just, it, it got cut up. Plus, we all know out of the yo wait, the it, Apple Apple Bloom's dick got cut off. Oh. Man, um, it would be Foodaloo. Yeah, Foodaloo well, would be the best. Just just wait until we get Scootaloo in our party because she might have had that set as her custom name. Yeah, you're saying Apple Sneed has a big dick, and then just wait until Foodaloo joins the party. <laughs> <laughs> big dick is back in town. Big dick's back on the menu, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Lot of 
freaking enemies out. Finish before I finish it. Okay, good. Save saved a couple of hit points. There's a lot of enemies out. Okay. Do I just You know what? Oh, I ate the stick of butter though. Dang. Stick of butter be really good for right, good right now. Oh, peanut cheese bar. One of Mr. Saturn's favorite foods. Tastes pretty yummy. You want to eat for about hundred well, that's pretty good, you know what? Sweetie Bell took the peanut cheese butter out and Dinky ate it. Give her a croissant. I think he took the croissant out and bellied it. What we got here? Need 30 hit points. And eh, we'll just wait for the. Okay. Oh, another photo fish. Hey kids, ready to wait behind this waterfall? <laughs> ah, yes, that post lighting location is brilliant. Brilliant. Time to make this magic. Oh, great photograph. Always bring back the fondest of memories. No, I go. Okay, yeah, best part of the game, right? Walk around here. Yep, say the password. Okay, see you in three minutes. Uh, uh, indeed. So what's the, what's the plan to upload these? I, I didn't even check if we uploaded the first part. Uh, I didn't upload. I, I recorded it, but I haven't uploaded it. I, I, I haven't edited it yet. I need to edit it before I can upload it. Uh, all the dead air, and then you have to speed up the gameplay times eight. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah. Um. Kind of like. I don't know. I wasn't sure. Needed. I was thinking I might like. Um, just like do the whole playthrough and then upload it so instead of doing it in parts but then a bunch of people were actually interested in it several people contacted me and said like hey you guys were playing it the other day right like i want to know about it and uh, a couple people said that they wanted to watch but weren't able to, to attend some people other people just didn't know about it and said hey so so and so said you're playing this game what is this about and it's like oh I'm, I'm playing the game and we're recording it so i might actually just go ahead and, and uh, probably after this one Sometime this week I'll go edit them. I do need to edit them because I need to like mux the, the audio together and stuff. So I'm recording on separate channels. But I'll need to mux all the audio together and then put that together with the video. Um, but then I'll go have it uploaded probably because it sounds like some people are who didn't know much about this game or didn't know we were playing it are actually kind of interested in seeing it. So that way I'll just go ahead and do it as we play instead of waiting till the end because there actually is interest in it apparently. How long is it? I don't have my timer with me. I didn't stop my stopwatch. This sucks. Oh, that's fine. How's your day going, Corp? Uh huh? Yeah. Well, how's your day going? It's going. It's going. Um, I went to an anime con yesterday. Cringe. Yeah, cringe. Was there any pony stuff there? Mm, no. Very cringe. Hmm. I've always found like at least two pony things every time I go to like a vendor hall at an anime con. Sometimes more, but I think like the lowest it ever seems like two. But somebody would have something usually. Mm, no. Nope. That sucks. I mean, I didn't look very closely at every single booth, but I didn't see anything. Let's see. I'm always afraid that I mess up this segment. Like, it's like, like the text box disappeared. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to. That the the text box is yeah. supposed to disappear. But I'm always afraid. Like, oh, did I like bump? Ah, there we go. Okay, you managed. I'm always afraid. Right, like, did I did I take one step after the dialogue and now I have to reset it? All right. Yeah, just just stand there for three minutes, then you may enter. 
Safety first, only dweebs get injured. What's a pony doing here? Wait, what's a pony doing here? That's that's how a lot of uh, people in the fandom actually act, it seems, these days. Yeah. Why does it need to be a pony? Can I have a griffin OC with a, with a hippogriff? Sweetie took the croissant out and Apple Sneed ate it. What's the original game of this? Uh, the original game is Mother 3, and the English localization is Earthbound. Wait, is this why Theo really wanted to buy a video game called Mother 3? Oh, probably, yeah. Mother, Mother 3... But he ended up only buying Mother 2? This is I... Mother 2 we're playing. Yeah, we're playing Mother I don't know what... You're, I don't know what Theo was talking about, but... Um, Mother 3 was never released outside Japan, but they do have um, some unofficial fan translation versions of it um, you can get. Mother 2 was released outside Japan. It was released as Earthbound for the Super Nintendo. Um, it's, a, it's, it's, it's kind of a cult no, classic. the Japanese it, ones. Okay. Yeah, I, I have Mother 1 and 2, the Japanese copies, and then I also have an English copy of Earthbound. I don't Is have a copy Game of Boy Mother Advance 3. Game Boy Advance or something? Mother 3 was Game Boy Advance, yeah. Whereas, uh, so Mother was like the original Nintendo, the Famicom. Um, Mother 2 was Super Famicom, and then Mother 3 was on Game Boy Advance. You got Mother 2 for Game Boy Advance. Uh, if, if it's a Japanese version, you probably, it's a Mother 1 and Mother 2 was released as a combo package for Game Boy Advance. It was re-released for Game Boy Advance, but it was Mother 1 and Mother 2. It's, yeah, it's a popular game. It, it kind of like a, it's. It was very popular in Japan. It had kind of like a cult, you know, popularity, cult classic type thing in the U.S. It became much more well known in like the maybe like early 2000s, um, and now lots of people know about it. And of course, there is some of the like it's it's kind of hipster to know about it and like it. Some somewhat. It is a really freaking good game though. What did I just find? Well, bomb. Uh, and uh, the cool thing is you can actually buy a cartridge of Equestria Bound. At, at Windy City we were playing on the original hardware, but on Etsy they're selling one right now. You can buy it. Yeah, take a look. And I don't the know voice the so. Oh, this is for SNES. Oh, okay. I do have an SNES. Quark was a gamer. Floppy destroyed. Technically, it's not my Super Nintendo, though. It's Mare Friends? Oh man, I'm getting a 429 too many requests. Yeah. Look at all these things. Jeez, there's all of them. What the hell? That link's not working for me. Oh. Okay. Wait, it's on, it's on Amazon. Oh, it is? <laughs> How much is it on that Etsy site? 35? Oh, it's 40 on Amazon. Yeah, that... Etsy is dead. Damn. It's like Etsy is dead. Yeah, Etsy's dead. What the... Or maybe it's my VPN. Maybe Etsy blocks my VPN or something. The Phillies are... Bashing some balls. Floppy D. Hell yeah. Damn, they give it a ton of EXP. Well, there's a lot of them. Oh my oh, Philly! Gosh. Look, there's yes, a Philly! <laughs> they have a non-Philly slaves here. Prepare. See, I knew Griffins were no good. I wish I was cool as Miss Gilda. Let's do dweeb. Look at they have they've been slay tired. That's so good, ding. Look, oh, stinky. It's really. Oh, pretends to smile. 
Oh no. I've heard rumors that Gilda is working with Nightmare Moon. There's no way any griffin is awesome as Gilda. Look, they said any griffin. It's like any pony, but not any creature. Oh man, these, oh, these fillies been? are so fucking cute. I can't believe that it's a, a griffin conspiracy to kidnap a non fillies and use them as slaves. And you still have people defending griffins. So is this, this is Equestria Bound, the same game as you're playing right now, or is it... Yeah, this, this is Equestria Bound. But you guys edited it a little bit. Uh, we edited the, the Anon Phillies in. Because the Anon Phillies, so they, they replaced all the characters, all the other characters and all that kind of stuff. They replaced, you know, Sweetie Belle and, and all that stuff. But they did not replace uh, Mr. Saturn's the Anon Phillies. That was our idea. Okay, I'll buy the one next time. It'll be worth a million dollars when you get old. When he gets old? I, when I get old. Yeah, like one year or two, you know. <laughs> a brain capsule. Brain capsule, it increases your IQ. Let's do that. Dinky took the brain capsule, and of course Dinky doesn't need the IQ, right? No. No, we'll give the IQ to Sweetie Belle. A broken blade inside. What does the slime generator do? Items for Sneed. Sprays a sticky substance that stops any from moving. Can you use me hands? Look, if that, if that ain't a quote, Jap. Items for Sneed. Items for Sneed. <laughs> Where's the items for Chuck? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're thinking about Mother One. Ah, okay. The other griffins were just talking. I thought this was going to talk. Now this one wants to fight. Grappled and used a submission hold. <laughs> I think that door up there has a uh, magic butterfly behind it. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna go up. Maybe find an item or something. Oh! So, you destroyed all those zombies we sent to Philadelphia? Guess I'll have to take you off my own claws, says the griffin. Griffins are weak to ice, though. Oh, owned. I was thinking, I, I started like, I'm gonna use a regular, you know, Mayor's Alpha, and I'm gonna use an attack. And as I keyed in the attacks, I thought to myself, you know, I'm trying to preserve my MP, and I just said there's a butterfly, anyways, but I don't even need to preserve it that hard because what would be really bad is if one of these, like, did an attack that I, you know, and, and killed somebody while I. Oh, she's dead. Yep, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> oh, it's well. just like Woody City all over again. I just took a butter! <laughs> Alright, cool. Whoa. Man, I, I could have fed her the stick of butter. An HP sucker. Oh, here we go. S Sweetie Belle's dead. Let's go ahead and just... just Dinky added the stick of butter to Belle's stuff. 
Sweetie Belle's dead, but we still have her her bag, her saddlebags filled with stuff. Let's just go put a stick of butter in it. She likes those. Let's see here. It's a vital capsule. Uh, didn't we get? Did we get the HP? HP sucker. No! Oh shoot! I didn't mean to push that. I wanted to say give, not drop. Well, I guess we just lost a key item. It's not a key item, but it's a unique item in the game that we never get back. Which item was it? It was the HP sucker. It's oh. an item item for Sneed. It allows Sneed to drain the hit points from enemies and give it to herself. She sucks the hit points out of them and gives it to themselves. Is it a one-time use or is it like... No, it's, it's a re repeated use item. Oh, no. That's all right. Oh, well. We accidentally threw the HP sucker. Oh my gosh, more enemies here. Man, this really sucks. If you die and respawn, do you have all your so items funny. back? Yeah, you have all your items and everything. Alright, we'll at least the power of beta mares. Like Finn's playing. Yeah. Hmm. Trying to tell what game that is. You know, I probably should have bought one of those horny lives, right? From the Phillies. Yeah, those are those are always good. <laughs> oh man, it was a two, it was a double fight, and I still instant. Hello, it's your dad. You've been out there for a long time now. Maybe none of my business, but don't you think we got to take a break? No, no, I don't. I'm gonna keep playing. Shut up, dad. Uh, you don't own me. Oh, but let's take the moment to appreciate the the little swivel sprite, a little dead swivel with the halo and the little angel wings, with the little front hooves. That's cute. Don't you have any like phoenix downs or what? No, that's that's the horn of life. We don't have any of those. We'll we'll get her later though. You you go to the hospital and. Uh, I can go to the hospital and, and she 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 was has fallen unconscious, so she was rushed to the hospital and we can get her from there. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of hit points. Hundred twenty damage to Dinky. Holy shit! Can I do this fast enough? Yes. Nice. There was a bomb. Bomb. <laughs> I left you a little present. What is it? A bomb. That rocks. Maximum MP went up by fourteen. We're playing uh, Guilty Gear now. That rocks. Drink the cider. Do, that. Do I have like a can of me? Uh, boiled egg. What about this? Edible boots. Okay. Croissant. Dude, check check out what this is. No. Oh, I want to say use, not give. Oh, that's alright. Where's the egg? Boiled egg. Sneed took the boiled egg out, and Dinky ate it. Oh, it's only 45 hit points? That's not that much.
Dinky took the stick of butter from Sweetie Belle's stuff. And Dinky ate the stick of butter. Uh, and then she will eat and Dinky ate the boiled egg. Here we go. It's Gilda. Hey, you're not supposed to be here. What are you doing in my base? You must be that dinky pony I was told about. I was given everything I needed to get back at Rainbow Dash for how she humiliated me. The nightmare wants to stop you from getting the elements, and I found Rainbow Dashes. The zombies are supposed to keep you out of the valley, but I guess I have to take you out. It's Gilda! Now kill her. Easy, we use the can of meat. Dinky opened the can of meat. Gilda grabbed the can of meat. Gilda lost her mind by wolfing down the can of meat. Yeah, it's hurting Snoot a lot. Some cider. Apple snake looking for cider. Even though it's only for adults. A bomb. Easy peasy. She lost her mind wolfing down that meat. You know, I, I think I've seen fan art of, of something akin to that myself. Yeah, you know, now that you make it... This game tells you that ponies don't like meat, but I've seen contrary. Yeah, I've, I, think, I think I've seen some fan art of, of Gilda choking on some meat before. Yeah. Mindlessly wolfing it yeah, down. Yeah, mindlessly so wolfing down... Losing, losing her mind by wolf... Ooh, the non-filly. I escaped. I escaped. Zoom. Dork. Goody. Dweeb. <laughs> we need some other choice words in there for the Phillies to say. Although I'm not sure if, if I want to say them and have it recorded because I think YouTube gets gets mad at certain of these words that I hear not really <laughs> yeah. say a lot. You Can I see them? Are you recording this? I am. Yeah, yeah. I am recording it. We're going to upload it to the channel. You can't say gamer words? I don't think so. I mean, I think I think YouTube doesn't like it if you do. I'm not, I, we're not streaming to YouTube, I'm recording it, so I can go find them and like edit them out, but I don't really want to have to go edit that much. It would be really mean of me to say something. It would. Ah, uh, go in hot spring. Wash meatiness. Wash meatiness. Crazy rainbow place. What this thing ding. Longer ladder. Can go to hot springs. Yeah, we got a long ladder now. We can walk up to the hot springs. Does this actually bring. Uh, Swivel back to life? I don't remember. You got in and washed all the extremely dirty gunk off your- Dude, the text looks weird now that it's not with a non play speak, you know? It does! It brings her back to life! Yay! Yeah, you want to do the, the coffee that you like so much? Drink coffee before go? Yes, you must drink the coffee. Alright, a non filly we'll drink the coffee. Bottoms up! Ah, uh, the psychedelic, trippy coffee experience with a non filly
Well, that's right. It's Diamond Tiara, the bully from school who knocked on the door that fateful night. I forgot all about Diamond Tiara. Apple Sneed will always be by your side. Dinky, as you certainly know by now, you are not just any unicorn. You are a little pony. I mean, you have an awesome destiny to fulfill. So is this like one of those games that's really long? Uh, it's yeah. like 20 to 30 hours long. Oh, it's not as long as like Final Fantasy. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, it's like a it's like Final Fantasy. It's a, it's a JRPG from the 90s, so it's like the same length of like the Final Fantasy type games that are like 30 hours long. It, it feels a lot longer than it is usually because like you, there's so much that happens in it, but when you look back and you're like, well, actually, it was only you know 25 hours. Final Fantasy VI or whatever. It took a long time. You try yeah. to get all the characters. I'm not sure how long that one is, but I'll find that, that's one I plan on playing through after this one. So this one I've played. Through, I haven't played through the the Equestria edit of this one before. This is my first time doing this. Um, but I've played through the base game of this a bunch. I have not played through the base Final Fantasy VI or Final Fantasy III when you know, in the U.S. when they released it. But there is a, there's also a pony hack of that where it replaces all the characters with ponies. And it's called Philly Final Fantasy VI. Yeah, Philly Fantasy VI. I want to play that. Yeah, so I was gonna after I finished playing through this one, I was gonna try that one out. But I've never, I've never I played. I remember. The... I don't remember how to play it, how to get all the characters and everything. Like... Uh, oh, yeah, I'm looking at the uh, play time right now, and it says. A normal play of it is 35 hours, but 100% completion is about double that. For, yeah. for Final Fantasy VI? Yes. Yeah. yeah. It is a long game. Well, I've never played it, so I'm looking forward to playing it as Philly Fantasy VI. There's some really... One. I wonder in the Philly Fantasy how they do the singing thing. Like, that's a very nice part of the game. Where you have to sing. Uh, the, Phillies so, are, so the Phillies are happy, happy, happy because they're all home. Alright, let's see. Are we having to sell these guys now? Yeah, so... Nothing to sell, really. Maybe we'll go ahead and buy one horny life. Alright, Anon Philly, where's the horn of life? 1700? Dude, that's a lot. Of, I'm not gonna buy a horn I'm not gonna buy a horn of life. It's too expensive. We'll, we'll, we'll just plan on never, uh, never dying again. How about that? I've already requested my time off work. I won't be fun. Epico. You know, uh, if we are convening to play these on a regular basis, like, we could play on that Sunday. You can't. Are you going to be back home by then? Uh, you know, you're right. I forgot about that. <laughs> These hot to figure springs out didn't flight. do shit. The, the hot springs revived Swill, but they didn't actually heal us or recover any of our MP. Bullshit hot but spring. It, but it felt pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it, made, it, it didn't even make us do that, because if it did that, that would mean we get MP back. It didn't even make us relax. Wow. The butterfly, more effective means of relaxing. Yes, I want slumber from the Anonymous. Slumber. 
Sneed fixed the broken drill. It became the drill. The drill. <laughs> wow, fancy that. Apple Sneed can equip this weapon. Little Philly shouldn't use power tools. That just makes me want to use it more, though, doesn't it? <laughs> Ooh. Better offense. Alright, let's let's go get uh, Rainbow Dash's element of loyalty that Gilda hid in the cave up here. Oh, but first we gotta get our picture taken again. Auto finish? The lighting to the location is brilliant. Brilliant. Time to make the magics. Wow, oh, the great photograph. I always bring back the fondest of memories. Now, I go. <laughs> Warning. Scary pony. Make rainbow. Hurt much. <laughs> ah, that's a good description of Rainbow Dash. Scary pony make rainbow. Hurt much. Ah, the Sonic Rain Boob. Uh, Ram Boob. <laughs> the most loyal of dash bags. <laughs> Goodbye. Damn. You handled those two boobs quite well. Yeah, they're rain boobs. Oh man, whole okay. group of enemies. Might need some mares for this. The get yes, yeah, the galloping evil mushroom. Oh no, Dinky's feeling strange. Oh no, Belle's feeling strange. Oh no, Dinky's Dinky's homesick thinking about pizza. We we didn't get to use. Mares because we were thinking of pizza. That's just the way it is sometimes. All right now, Bell's poisoned. No. And Bell's trying to kill herself because she's feeling funky. No. And Bell just Bell just killed herself. She died from the poison. They're trying to kill. She's trying to kill Sneed. All right. Well, I guess we have to go right back to the Philly Village. And uh, clean this mushroom off our head. Oh no, there's still more enemies. Uh oh. Dang, status effects do be deb be pretty debilitating. All right. Invoke the power of mares. There we go. There's a sprig of parsley. Ah, we, we, we took the sprig of parsley and put it in Sweetie Belle's saddlebags while she was dead. We need, we need a sprig of sage. That's what we need. We need to sage this. Make the mushroom disappear. Ah, yes. Resting in hot springs makes mushroom disappear. Must be cold hot springs. Slumber. Which of you will carry this burden? Oh, hey, it's your dad. I deposited 1100 bucks into your bank account because you beat up those rain boobs. Good job. That's <laughs> how you handle those oh, wait. boobs, kid. Wait, I better call. I better call mom. Um, hello, Dinky. How's your adventure going? Sounds like you're having some tough times. Miss Cheerilee dropped by, looking for you. Don't worry, I covered for you. Everything's fine here. You just keep on chucking. Hmm. Yeah, I, 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 I didn't say that I got over my homesickness. Oh my gosh! 
Dude, homesickness killed us last time. Last session, that's what killed us. That's also what killed us in the cave. We were doing the rarity cave and it killed us because we got homesick. Even though I had just called home. I'm wondering if they screwed up the homesickness in this prompt. Do you want to just give it another somehow. call? Uh, like, because there was a unique prompt that time, right? Well, yeah, but it, it doesn't show... It normally would show homesickness as a status effect on here. And that's why I would say it cured it. I'm thinking they maybe they they somehow messed up the homesickness and the ROM hacking. Oh my gosh, look at those enemies. I don't want to use up all my mare power, but all right. Dang it! They really don't want you to go in this cave. I know. It shouldn't say danger, uh, you know, scary rainbow pony. It should say danger, scary minion. Boobs. <laughs> danger, scary <laughs> boobs. Why is Bella going last? And she wasted all of her PP, all of her MP on this Omega fire attack. Oh, beta fire, literally. But this beta fire attack that the guy only it was one guy with like a few hit points left. I love messaging BCS. He came in here in our first session asking what this game was. Just like everybody else. Well, it landed this time. Well, it landed last time, it just last time it wasn't really necessary because everybody was already defeated. This time it was useful. But man, it is draining my magic points. That rocks. Ooh, mana magnet omega. Well, that it's everyone, right? Yes. There's more rain boobs. Does ice work on them? I wonder. She's feeling funky. Oh no! She did 371 damage to Sneed with her ice attack. Well. Oh, it works. On, on Sneed. Come on, 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 no, 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 okay, it's not, no, no, let me, oh, I was gonna heal Sneed if we had enough time. Had no visible effect on Sneed. Holy crap, we're gonna have to go back and rest again. Sneed is dead. Swivel is still feeling funky. But you feel yeah. Dinky. Dinky feels just fine. In fact, Dinky's feeling Nidakusta. Nidakusta. Holy shit, look at all these enemies again. I think he's feeling strange. The most sinister of status ailments. And this cave is just full of enemies. Like every single time I take a step, I get four of these guys at once. Ah, Storm Beta. See a swivel. Well, at least it didn't hurt you. That's fine. Uh 
Oh, somehow I got behind him this time. Very adamant of you to not run away. Oh my gosh, I'm poisoned now too. No, 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 I'll be fine, I'll be fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna heal away my poison. And now we're back to the hot springs. And the mut, and if I can get to them, oh great. Uh, so the mushroom also uh, screws up your controller and it starts randomizing the directional buttons. The long, like once you've had it on you for a while in the overworld, it uh, randomizes your control buttons, so your face buttons, D-pad, whatever, which makes it very hard to walk around. Screw you, butterfly! Butterfly! I don't, I don't need to relax right now. I'm I'm gonna go rest. Why are their asses so big? <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> uh, that, that's how we made him. Yeah. Make her with a huge ass. <laughs> we were uh, we were looking at the sprite sheets, and he was making it up, and he, and he was like, like testing out how it was gonna look and what color we could get for the palette, and he was like making the question mark symbol, and I just like off the cuff just said like, oh yeah, and make sure you give her a ni nice rump, I think is what I said or something like that. He's like, gotcha, I, I know exactly what to do, and like <laughs> 20 minutes later he comes back to me, hey, here's how the anon play sprite sheet looks like. What do you think of it? I followed your instructions and gave her a nice rump, and it was. Well, the sprite you see in front of you, it looks cool from facing down, it looks normal from the sides, and it, it just is a giant ass from behind. <laughs> <laughs> you can very clearly tell which way they're facing. Well, she's already get, got the mushroom on her head already. What does the mushroom do? Uh, it's like confusion, like in other games, so she has a chance to target um, an ally instead of an enemy. So that's what killed us when we were in the dungeon a little bit ago. I tried to use the most powerful single target magic spell I have, uh, and she accidentally targeted Apple Bloom with it instead, and so it did 371 damage to Apple Bloom. And um, if it, it, so it, it does that during combat, and when you're out of combat, that's where it like, screws up your face, your, your um, D-pad controls, which makes it hard to walk around the overworld. So yeah, she's she's hit herself for seventy damage. And not much can remove the mushroom. I think with like max, like the absolute maximum healing spell can remove it. Uh, and there aren't really any, um, may maybe one of them actually can, but a lot of the recovery items also that you can like buy in the shop don't do it because it's, it's a mushroom on your head. It's not something you can just like take medicine for. Although I guess you could, so if a fungus growing on you, maybe you should have like a fungicide, but... Um, mostly, pretty much the only way to do it is to go to, you go to a hospital and even hospitals can't treat it. You have to go to the mystic healer who hangs out at the hospital and says, oh, I can cure you of things that even hospitals can't, which is replaced with Zakora in this, in this version. So you have to go find Zakora and she can, she can remove the mushroom from your head. Or in this case, you use the hot springs and it'll cure them as well.
No. This is definitely the worst segment of the game. Holy sh I know. Sweet Bill uses magic fire beta, kills the entire party except for Dinky. to go back through the cave of a hundred people. Oh my gosh! Why are there so many enemies here? Well, what I need, I need, levels. I need my speed to get high enough that I can move before them. That's the problem. These stupid mushrooms are always going first. Heck, all these enemies are going first. Yeah, if, if Dinky or Sweetie Belle can go first, we can always just blow them up like that. Oh baby, oh baby, oh baby. Sweet, maximum hit points went up by a lot. I didn't see how much. porn video ever <laughs> <laughs> that's that's quite quite a proposition how about the creepiest gay porn video at least the gay uh, I, that's gay not video. sweet in the last, deal it's about the weirdest thing i've seen in the last little while at least okay uh i will take a look at it i don't understand this at all <laughs> oh i've I've, <laughs> I've seen that gift before I think it's gay. It looks gay. Oh my gosh. Oh, and I drained all of my mana. I can't even heal I mean, anymore. It was an HTC, so I assume it's gay. He's gonna die. No, no, I'm fine. I still have a stick of butter in my inventory, I think. I can still eat that. Emergency uh, butter. The bomb! I, I, I eat the croissant just to be safe. Oh my gosh, another one sprouted. <laughs> okay, think of the XP I'm gonna get though. These all count for XP if... If, if I finish... If, as long as I finish the fight. <laughs> the only thing that can kill me is if I accidentally attack myself. Because these guys will never do enough damage to beat me. Good. No, no, no. no. Oof. no I'm gonna go ahead and eat. No, oh, I can't. Shit. Because if I attack myself, this might be bad. Oh my gosh. No! Holy shit. Alright, bomb, 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 bomb. No! That's not going to have to kill it! Oh my gosh, uh, I attacked myself over. and that's why it... That's F. This fucking dungeon. Oh my gosh. I'll be right back. And I'll be right back. <laughs>
You know, I wonder, maybe I can cure that, those mushrooms with healing beta. I didn't think so, but maybe. Time to find out. does not help with the mushroom at all. Which means, since that was the same description that it gave for like, the secret herb, the secret herb is not going to cure the mushroom either, because the secret herb just said helps with feeling strange, amongst other things, but... Well, maybe the secret herb might... Secret herb does say that it works on like everything, even being diamond eyes and stuff, but... I don't know. Finally, not lots of enemies. In particular, not the annoying enemies that can just kill us in one hit. Holy crap, all I had to do was leave, and now we're all the way out here. Yeah, we're doing fine now. Well, let's see how uh, bad it gets now that I'm sitting back down. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to fight Rainbow Dash, and as the sign said, warning, scary rainbow pony makes rainbows scary, or whatever. Oh. <laughs> I mean, Rainbow Dash, I did, Rainbow Dash was the one place that I uh, actually died at when I was playing it at Winnie City. Uh, Rainbow Dash was pretty tough. Because she does the Sonic Rainbow, but just, I think you might be able to block it. Like, if you actually do the, I want to guard next turn action, that, that might be what you're supposed to do. But Rainbow Dash was like, you know, Rainbow Dash starts, she, she starts doing her little routine, and then she's like, you know, phase three, the Sonic Rain Boom, and it kills your party. Is that, is this how you get Foodaloo? Uh, no, you get Foodaloo late, because this is a changeling Rainbow Dash up here. Uh, but Foodaloo comes in a, a ways later, it's still quite a ways until you get Foodaloo. <laughs> You get Foodaloo when you uh, deal with the real Rainbow Dash, not the Changeling Rainbow Dash. At least I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Like, I, I haven't played through that part in the Equestria version of it, um, but I know who Foodaloo replaces, and I know she's... In the normal game, she's a martial artist who's, like, training with her master in the mountains, and I'm pretty sure in this edit, it's she's training with Rainbow Dash to learn how to fly better and stuff. Holy crap, Jeez. that's a lot of defense. Now she won't die. It won't hit. There we go, Rainbow Dash. Alright, uh, she needs a little bit of healing. Is that dark Rainbow Dash? Nah, she's not black. She's, she's a little bit dark, but... Shouldn't be out this far. There's a lot of dangerous monsters here. Not even scare me, of course. Why do you have to be so lame? Alright. That's a good Rainbow Dash part. All, all the, like, the boss sprites have been pretty good, yeah. All 
Alright, gotta get rid of all of them. Wow, the most powerful bottle rocket item you can get on Sneak. Well, not even at the end of the game, but. And it misses and does no effect. Bull fucking shit. No, 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 she's fine. She's a shield on now, so she'll be fine. All in the hurricane. How was that? <laughs> she is really bullying Applesmeed too much. And she's bullying everybody. There, phase one start dashes about. Oh my gosh! You might just want to do the heal up and defend them. That's I'm gonna, I'm gonna try doing a defend thing, but uh, phase two made Bell spin around. <laughs> That's orbit. Uh, Dinky is paralyzed. Oh, I said Dinky can't do anything because Dinky's paralyzed. That's what that little para paralysis symbol is. So she could she could recover her paralysis, but I guess I guess we'll have to do also recover her paralysis on myself. Uh, I mean, I could try to block. I think I'm just gonna die if I block though. So I'm just gonna attack her again, and she'll go ahead and try to defend. Rain boom. See, look at that. Doesn't matter. Is it Sneed? Yeah, even Sneed died with the block. Doesn't matter. Come on, hit him. Hit, hit, hit. All right, be enough, be enough. Nope. Okay, and the healing doesn't work anyways. And Rainbow Dash evil. Yeah. Why is she so awesome, bros? Time to get awesome. So like Mares doesn't work on her, Ice doesn't w does like five damage to her. Lightning does damage, but Lightning is the one where it has a random chance to hit or not hit every single time you cast it. So you have no idea what's gonna happen whether it'll actually hit. I I used the the, the big bottle rocket I item and it just did nothing. I don't know if it missed or did nothing, but either way, it's gone. Which means Sneed Apple Sneed can't really do anything now because that's what she does is, is fire those on use items. Don't you have the Battle Walker rocket again? No, I used it up. But you died. Oh, I thought you reset back to your save point. Nope. You go back to your save point uh, and you lose half your money and your allies are all defeated, so you have to go get them revived. But you don't, but you don't, you actually, all your items still count as used. You also need to deduct. Or else, what happens if you just reset the game? Like, 
Oh, uh, then you go back to your save point, yeah. Oh, that would almost be better to do. Oh. So healing, I thought, got her, see, I thought it was going to, if, if, if that healing had gotten rid of my um, poisoning. Well, I think we can get it this time. The problem was, like, I kept putting those shields up. Like, Dinky used, like, five of her turns. She, she did shield, 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 oh, heal, shield. That's five turns. Dinky could have just attacked. She hits for, don't like, 100. Need a, what? Don't you need to slumber first? To... I just did, didn't I? Yeah, I slumbered. No. Yeah. Oh, 20 MP. I require slumber. The Philly. Yeah, I mean, I might just have to attack her. But, like, her rain boom, it doesn't even have to be on, like, it was, like, you know, 10 turns in. When I did it at Winnie City one day, the very first thing she did was she started rain boom, and then on turn three did the rain boom and killed me. So that might happen as well. It might just become an RNG-based thing of, I guess I'll just go attack her, and I'm just going to go all out, use all my abilities, and just, like, forget using... Well... She starts out, she has those out, she had those sprouts with her, so I have to destroy the sprouts. After I destroy the sprouts, then I can go ahead and just focus on everybody's attack. Uh, we have a magic caramel, we have a secret herb, a horny life, edible boots, croissant, buy some sticks of butter or something. I think you can survive the Sonic Green Boom if everyone can eat like a stick of butter after it happens. Yeah, as soon as it happens, right? Well, not everyone can. Sweetie Belle can't, because it did like 300 damage to her or something like that. She has so little hit points. Actually, if it, shield, if it, if it did, shield didn't work. Well, the shield... Well, yeah, because I think that's magic damage, and the shield just reduces your physical damage. Shield was reducing her physical damage taken by half. That's why at the beginning, Rainbow Dash was hitting her for 44, and then was only hitting her for 22. But, um... That's not necessarily the hard part. The hard part is the other range. I'm not going to waste time on shield. But we enter the fight, and she has those two... She has those two sprouts with her, and the sprout also made more of it. So I have to use the first turn blowing up all the sprouts. But then after that, I'm not going to have Dinky use shield or healing or anything. Dinky's just going to do attacks. At least the boobs aren't spawning in here anymore. The boobs are the ones I don't mind fighting. I don't like fighting the mushrooms. The mushrooms can make you get the mushroom on your head, and the sprouts can drain your mana. See? Okay, good. Snee doesn't have any mana. Yeah, but like, when they're on the screen, they pick up real estate on your PK mares. So that divides the damage evenly. No, it does the same damage to everybody. Oh, it does? Oh, never mind. Pretty sure. I, I never heard of that before, that it, like, let's see, if it does, then wow, that would be a cool strategy to, like, blow up single guys. I'm pretty sure it doesn't, though. Dinox. Dinox. What does the relaxing thing do? It gives you 20 MP to everybody in your party. Uh, except for Applesneed. Well, Applesneed can't use magic because she's not a unicorn. Mud pony. Oh, oh, oh. Boob destroyed. I did that. Hey, Bala, we're, we're fighting uh, you, your happy waifu Rainbow Dash. She's too good, though. She keeps slaughtering our party. Well, that's to be expected. She's yeah. the final boss. You need From... a full party. And to grind to level 99. Oh, I get it now. These rain boobs, they're Paolo. <laughs> Mm. Oh, I, I did your voice line for 10, yes. Ah yes, the silent voice actor. You know what, maybe maybe we should change off of, instead of using the Applejack themed windows that have the, 
The orange, maybe we should switch over to the the, the Rainbow Dash themed ones. And Rainbow Dash does seem like a really good pony based on all this. She's, she's kicking ass. Alright. Alright, let's try again, Rainbow Dash. Throw a bomb at her. A bomb! A bomb! Wow, that Whoa. was a lot of damage. Wow, it actually worked. It, Rainbow Dash actually took damage from mares this time. Need is holding on. Eat a peanut cheese bar. See? She's about to do the Sonic Rainbow oh. already. Me. Okay, we, so we can do a magic shield. I don't know if this will actually help. Just give it to your strongest so they can survive. Oh, and, and Dinky oh. couldn't move. Great. Oh, no, you're good again. Yeah, but you lose a turn for it. Oh, yeah. Rainboom. Oh, yeah, it did work. The magic shield did work. Hooray! Just gonna do it again. Again? Yep. Finally. Oh, nice. Oh, you won. Ah, naturally. So th this is what does get split, is it does split the XP if you have it. So because they're all dead, Dinky got all the XP to herself, which is why she just got 34,000 experience. And leveled up more than once. Sick. All right. That was horrible. The element of loyalty. It's Rainbow Dash's cutie mark. Some spaghetti noodles. Yes, yeah, her cutie mark rests up, up upon the spaghetti. Oh, I can never abandon them. The dormant element absorbed the power of the element of loyalty. All right, now we're all fully healed, and all of the trash in here is afraid of us, which means we can farm them for exp. We get free attacks on them. You won. Kind of crazy how much EXP Rainbow Dash gave. She gave you like. 34 times that? Yep. Well, ah, that's what I was really hoping I had. So Magic Shield Sigma will actually apply it to your entire party. If I had that, which means if, I was, if, if Swivel had been one level higher, we could have just cast on the entire party, we all would have survived, and we would have been fine. Oh, well. Dinky's just going to be guess, OP. Uh, yeah, I guess Dinky's just OP. And also, these, she didn't give 34 times as much, because she gave 34,000 experience. These guys gave like 1,000 experience, but it was 1,000 experience to all three of us. So these guys actually gave like 3,000 experience that got split. So, she gave 11 times as much as these guys. Oh, okay. Sorry, not very good at math. No, <laughs> sorry. She, she gave like way more, not an obscenely way more. Thank <laughs> you. 
Sweetie Belle leveling up. Oh baby, IQ went up. That rocks! Max MP went up. I wish that worked like that in real life. I wish you could just beat things up to get smarter. <laughs> Where do you work out, Sweetie Belle? <laughs> at, the, at the library. Okay, so we made it through uh, Philadelphia. We ended the zombies. We beat Gilda, we rescued the fillies that were being used as griffin slaves. Uh, and we beat Rainbow Dash. Uh, Where's the night? Sneed broke the bro fixed the broken blade. The broken blade became a wood router? That sounds really dangerous to... to uh, a, a wood, like a, a router is a type of tool, you know. Similar to a mill type of thing. What the fuck? I don't know what a router is. A router uh, routes traffic between networks. Yeah, it's the internet. The, the router. internet box. Like it, it connects different subnets and something. I'm gonna say we'll probably call it for here then for today. Cause we've been doing this for a while, and that was the yeah. hell that we just went through. Yep, and your dad just gave you six thousand dollars for ah, being thanks. a rainbow dad. Thanks, Dad. Alright, yeah, well, we got another element. What do we got? What are we up to now? Touch the dormant element to her horn and gather her thoughts. We got laughter. Actually. Generosity. And loyalty. Alright, we're, like we're like a third of the way there. We're like a third of the way through the game. Maybe. All right, that's where we'll go ahead and stop it. Next time we'll have to go back and see see how happy Philadelphia is now that it's no longer attacked by zombies headed by Gilda. We'll go oh, we'll go to the desert before before Manhattan. We we'll go through the desert, then we'll do Manhattan stuff like that. That'll be yep. fun. Reencounter yep. Diamond Tiara, reencounter Vinyl Scratch, fun stuff. And we'll have to leave the Philly the real Philly village, sadly. Yeah, the these Phillies are so cute. And they got a, they got absolute dump trucks of asses. <laughs> Huge ass. 